It's a real pleasure to be with you virtually um, this evening. Um, I always love the FE Awards. The FE Awards are, are about why we come to college. We come to college for our students to succeed and to achieve their very best and to progress. I'm always so impressed with how our students work hard at any time, but I've been particularly impressed with the effort shown and the commitment and the support for one another and staff during the pandemic. I would like to thank you on behalf of the senior leadership team and the governors for all the hard work you've put in as students in what has been a really difficult time. It's even more a credit to you that you've achieved so much and obviously on the FE Awards we're celebrating the best students who have achieved great things and progressed often from what might have been a relatively low start to really achieve something special. It's always always a challenge and it's been a particular challenge this year but very well done everyone we will enjoy your success we take great pleasure from your success your success is the impact we look for in the teaching we do and i would like to on behalf of yourselves thank the members of staff all the teachers all the support staff who have worked tirelessly during the pandemic to make sure that you've had a safe and a successful educational experience and I know that's been achieved and many students have gone out the way to thank me for all the work the staff have done to support them in their education but also to keep them safe and to keep them upbeat during what's been a challenging time. So very well done, your futures are bright and rosy and I'm sure you're looking forward to many many years of future um, development so um, all the best for the future. Hello, my name's Helen Yeomans and I'm here to present the Student Awards for 2021 for Access to Higher Education courses. Starting with Abigail Hartwright, who has been awarded full-time Access to HE Student of the Year at Redditch. Abigail has been an exemplary student throughout her time with us. She commenced her studies in September 2020 and impressed from the start with her dedication to her studies and her friendly manner. She has been extremely supportive of her peers during the transition between face-to-face -face and online teaching and despite the difficulties this has thrown up, has maintained 100% attendance throughout. Her work has been of an excellent standard across the course and she's also been a strong and professional advocate for her student group. I'm thrilled that Abigail was able to gain offers from all five of her universities she's applied to and chosen Winchester to study primary education. We wish her all the very best in her future studies. This award is for Gareth Irons, who has been awarded part-time Access to HE Student of the Year, Redditch Campus. Gareth is a superstar. He initially started his studies with us in September 2017 and completed his first year. However, despite excellent achievement, his own personal challenges rather overwhelmed him, so he decided to take a break from learning. He returned to us in September 2020 and has gone from strength to strength. During a difficult year for us all, Gareth has kept his cool, supported his peers and tutors and maintained his passion for his studies. He has achieved amazing grades and I'm excited to announce he's accepted a place at Aberystwyth to study psychology. It is typical of Gareth's courage that he has chosen to further challenge himself by choosing a course with an integrated year in industry. Well done, Gareth. This award is for Donna Butterworth. The award is full-time access to HE Student of the Year, Worcester Campus. Donna started her studies with us in September 2020 on the full-time access to HE Business and Law course. Initially, she found returning to study extremely difficult, not just because the course has been very different from what she might have expected due to COVID forcing the delivery online, but also because she has extreme personal and mental health circumstances, which she's had to overcome in order to study. It's been our pleasure to see her confidence grow throughout the course. She has been a dedicated, hard-working student throughout and has achieved excellent grades across all the subjects. We're happy to report that Donna has received offers from the University of Birmingham, Cardiff University and the University of Worcester, all to study law. We wish her every success in her future studies and we are sure she will excel at university. Congratulations Donna on everything you've achieved. This award is for Kerin Adamson Coley. She's been awarded part-time access to HE Student of the Year at the Worcester campus. 
Karen has been an inspiration to her tutors and to other students since she started her studies with us in September 2019. Her nomination was unanimous from all of the staff involved in teaching and supporting her on the course. Karen has a wide range of complex health issues and learning difficulties to overcome. In addition to these, this year in particular, she has continued to excel in her studies across all areas whilst caring for her mum and stepdad as they recovered from COVID. She was also ill herself, but at no point did he, she let her grades slip. We are all so impressed with her dedication to her studies, which have resulted in her achieving offers from all of her chosen universities to study criminology and psychology. She has chosen Keele University as her, as her first choice, and we wish her all the very best for her future studies and beyond. Congratulations, Karen, for everything you've achieved and overcome. Hi, welcome to the Apprenticeship at the FE Awards for 2021. My name's Dave Lee and I'm the Director of Apprenticeships at Howe College. First, we have the Apprentice of the Year Award for Redditch and Bromsgrove. Our winner this year is Gregory Higgins. Our Learning and Skills Development Officer, Claire Seeger, has provided a citation for this award. In 2019, Gregory started an auto care apprenticeship with Holfords and the Heart of Worcester College. As an adult learner, Gregory has always displayed a high level of maturity towards his studies to facilitate his own personal and professional development, whilst also being eager to aim higher and achieve further and higher qualifications. Gregory is the kind of learner that all tutors want. He's friendly, hardworking, and has impeccable attendance and punctuality. Despite his modesty, Gregory is clearly very skilled in his chosen vocation and as a role model, his contribution during the, the sessions encourages the rest of the group to participate. Gregory's tutors are confident that he will excel in his endpoint assessment on his current apprenticeship and will return to the college to complete higher level qualifications while he continues to build his skills and careers in the automotive industry. Outstanding effort, Gregory. Well done from all of us at the college and we look forward to seeing you progress within the industry. Next, we have the Outstanding Apprentice Achievement Award for Redditch and Bromsgrove. Our winner this year is Megan Wilson. Our Learning and Skills Development Officer, Erica Swingle, has provided a citation to explain a bit more about this award. Megan began her apprenticeship in November 2019 following a career change um, in, her, in her first admin role. At the start, Megan was very shy, quiet, and lacked confidence in herself and skills and abilities. However, as an adult learner, she has consistently taken on board feedback and comments and challenged herself to improve her writing skills, uh, style, organisational and industry knowledge, and consequently, her confidence has grown. Through portfolio development and the implementation of a work-based project, Megan, Megan has demonstrated that she can work independently from a brief, positively take on board feedback and comments to develop her skills and ensure that all work is produced to a consistent high standard, as well as understanding the impact of her own work and professional behaviours in, in the business. Megan's manager, Michelle, could not speak more highly of her and feels that she brings not just work-based business benefits, but is a ray of sunshine and support in the office. Michelle consistently speaks highly of Megan and how quickly she has developed in her role and contributed to implementing change improvements and has become an invaluable member of the team. Well done, Megan. We're really proud to see you grow in confidence and be a success in the workplace. Next up, we have the Apprentice of the Year Award for Worcester and Malvern. Our winner this year is Callum Matthews and our Learning and Skills Development Officer, Paul Hill, has provided some comments to explain about this award. Callum is employed by Matthews Construction, an ambitious growing company based in Worcester. Callum started his apprenticeship as a young, quiet individual at our Morven campus, but during his journey has blossomed into an excellent bricklayer and an important member of the team on site. When Callum started his apprenticeship, the classroom was not his favourite place, but from gaining in confidence and applying himself, he conducted himself extremely well when it came to his exams in college. He passed many of the diploma unit tests with merits or distinctions. Callum was keen to improve his literacy skills and through hard work passed his functional skills level two English, which has noticeably helped his confidence at college and in the workplace. In September 2020, Callum completed all elements of the apprenticeship framework and was awarded with his apprenticeship certificate, which was well-deserved. 
On site, Callum has grown in stature and experience and now is a valued member of the team, working hard every day to improve himself and to show that it can be done. Well done, Callum, for your determination and commitment, which has certainly paid off. Our last award is the Outstanding Apprentice Achievement Award for Worcester and Northern. And our winner is Ben Bromage. Our Learning and Skills Development Officer, Carly Price, has provided some comments about this award. Ben started his apprenticeship with Kia Highways in October 2019 and quickly demonstrated an excellent work ethic and his line manager was singing his praises from early on. Straight away, Ben formed good relationships with his peers at college and always made valid contributions during sessions and often took the lead in different activities. When COVID hit, Ben adjusted to working from home with a mature attitude ensuring that he continued to complete his daily work responsibilities. Ben's job role has developed quite quickly from starting his apprenticeship. He was not only responsible for running many daily reports that the teams were reliant on, he also designed and developed new reporting systems to improve, it, uh, to improve efficiency across many areas of work. Ben's college sessions moved online and he took part and contributed well and adjusted well as, at the same time to a new way of learning. Ben continued to work hard throughout his apprenticeship and didn't take his foot off the gas at any point. He produced good evidence and always worked of a high standard to meet all targets set and also asked for additional work to ensure that he completed his apprenticeship before his planned end date. Ben took his end point assessment at the end of January and passed with a distinction. After his experience of the end point assessment process, he kindly agreed to join a remote session with his peers to share his experience with the rest of the group. He produced a detailed presentation and gave pointers to the group and explained the process from start to finish. During the presentation, he demonstrated excellent communication skills and has shown how he has developed from the early days to the mature, responsible young man he has developed into. Excellent work, Ben, and thank you for all your commitment and hard work. You've been an outstanding apprentice. To finish, I'd just like to say a massive well done and thank you to all the apprentices and employers for doing so well in such a difficult year. An extra congratulations to all our FE award winners for their hard work, determination and commitments. I wish you all the very best for your next part of your career journey. Hello and welcome to the Creative Arts FE Awards for 2021. My name is Ivan McDowell. I'm the Curriculum Resource and Quality Leader for the Creative Arts at Heart Worcestershire College. It gives me great pleasure to be announcing our awards today um, and sharing our lecturer's thoughts on the successful students. First off, we have the Art and Design Student of the Year for Bromsgrove. I'm pleased to announce that the winner is Beth Bennett. Art and Design staff have put together the following words, which I'm going to read about Beth, which sum up an exceptional time with us at the college. Beth is a thoughtful and intuitively creative student who is nearing completion of the Level 3 Extended Diploma in Art and Design. She has continually demonstrated her motivation to succeed with her studies, being focused on developing her skills and is fully committed to her creative vision and practice. Beth is an outgoing and positive member of the year group who is well respected and is always there to support her peers. Beth's creative practice and confidence as a designer has developed steadily during her two years at Howe College. Whilst working on projects both in college and outside, she has always been willing to explore new techniques and learn new skills. Collaborating with peers and taking risks with her ideas, Beth is always looking to explore new techniques. Whilst the previous two years have presented unprecedented challenges for all students, Beth has always been keen to work beyond those and ensure that her time at the college has been a success. Beth is currently working on the Lamplighters project at the Roundhouse in Birmingham and was also selected to undertake the Art History Summer School programme at the Coulthard Institute in July 2020. Both have been fantastic opportunities for her own practice and ones that she has grasped with both hands. Balancing her studies whilst working part-time, Beth has demonstrated excellent time management skills. She positively engages and participates in college life, working professionally alongside tutors and peers as part of her creative community. Well done, Beth, 
on winning the Art and Design Student of the Year for Bombs Crew. Our next award is for our Creative Media, Television and Film Student of the Year. I'm delighted to announce that this year's winner is Alex Emus. The TV and Film Lecturing Team have created the following citation, which I will now read, which really encapsulates the hard work and success that Alex has experienced as a student at Hart Worcestershire College. Alex joined the college in September 2018, initially on a level two creative media qualification. At interview and over the first year, he impressed staff with his creative skills. And naturally, we were keen to develop this as he moved to a level three TV and film programme. Across his two year TV and film programme, Alex quickly surpassed all creative expectations, working with enthusiasm, commitment, and dedicating extensive hours of his time beyond those of his peers and his college timetable. This combination of passion and an integration and fascination with the creative process has quickly led him to produce some incredibly interesting work. His practical film skills have developed exceptionally well and is an important leader within the group, as demonstrated recently through his role of director in the recent live studio production. Alex represents the very essence of a creative media student, one whom is willing to challenge, but also learn from the experiences that he's exposed to. It's with great pleasure we award Alex this Student of the Year Award, and I wish you all the success for the future, Alex. Next up, we have our Art and Design Student of the Year Award for the Worcester campus. I'm exceptionally pleased to announce that Matt Lloyd Langston is our Art and Design Student of the Year for Worcester. Well done, Matt. The lecturing team at the college have prepared the following words, which neatly sum up the exceptional, exceptional work that Matt has produced and the value that he has added to our department as a whole. At interview, Matt impressed staff with his flair and creative curiosity. And naturally, we were keen to develop this across a Level 3 Art and Design programme. It was also an interview that Matt made us aware of his type 1 diabetes and dyslexia, so we could ensure a smooth transition from college to school. In year one, Matt quickly surpassed all creative expectations, working with enthusiasm and commitment and dedicating extensive hours of his time beyond those of his peers and his college timetable. This mix of passion but also a willingness to learn and develop with those skills has made Matt stand out across his programme. Work has been based partly on the management of his diabetes and the impact that it has had on his life now and potentially on his future. And a certain piece he created called Angel Wings was subsequently featured on the official Diabetes England website. The artwork was a human-sized pair of wings made up of hundreds of Matt's test strips used to test his blood glucose levels. This really marked the start of an interesting and impressive integration of life and art that we continue to see across Matt's work. During the first lockdown, Matt built a shelter in his garden at home and demonstrated a genuine positive resilience to the world going into hibernation, but one in which he could continue to work and practice. His ingenuity and positivity is as contagious as it is generous. On return for the second year, he continued to create ambitious pieces such as his giant thumb based on ideas around identity and with every line formed from tubes from his insulin pump to create the accurate and intricate thumbprint. This is time consuming obsessive work that requires skill, patience and focus. The year has been challenging for everyone, but where Matt stands out is that his life was challenging before, and this is simply all relative. His creativity, consistency, and impressive workmanship is admirable, and he's a standout champion for the creative arts department. It's not surprising that even with the third lockdown, he was also able to secure a place on a degree course at Hereford College of Arts, and for this, we wish him all the very best for the future. It's with great pleasure that I award Matt Lloyd Langston, the Worcester Art and Design Student of the Year. Very well done, Matt. 
Our next award is for the Performing and Production Arts Student of the Year. It's with great pleasure that I award this to Ellie Robinson. The Performing Arts Lecturing Team have put together the following words, which I think really encapsulate Ellie's contribution over the two years that she has studied with us and really mark her out as our Performing Arts Student of the Year. Despite a challenging two years for the Performing Arts students, Ellie has remained positive, proactive and driven. During her two years here, she has demonstrated an exemplified professionalism and has applied herself to every discipline, striving to improve her skills. Ellie is a reliable and trustworthy member of the group and is respected highly by her peers and the staff members that she works with. She frequently adopts an organisational and leadership role and is focused on ensuring that the team achieves the best that they can as a whole. Such an important skill with our performing arts courses. With her determined approach to her studies and career, the performing arts team wish her every success for her future. Well done, Ellie. Our final departmental award is for our Music Performance and Production Student of the Year. It's with great pleasure that I can announce that Ben Parker has won this award. The music lecturer, Craig Ward, has put together the following words to sum up Ben's contribution to the course and the department as a whole. Um, these absolutely sum up Ben's contribution and why he's a worthy winner of our Music Student of the Year. Ben joined us on the Level 3 Extended Diploma in Music Performance and Production off the back of applying for a post with the Royal Marines as part of their musical programme. Unsure if this was the right career path at the time, Ben chose to join us to develop his musical skills further before considering this route in the future. The attitude and work ethic required for a career with the Royal Marines is wholly ingrained in Ben. He is polite, well-mannered and super easy to get on with. He listens and takes on board all lessons, feedback and is highly motivated to do well and be a success. He's proven time and time again his reliability in all aspects of the course and collaborative work, and is often there to lean on for support from his peers and staff. During the first college project of the year, Ben was the only learner to plan and organize a live event to the professional expectations a live venue would expect. He sent out schedules and stage plans before the event, turned up early and coordinated the whole class supervising and running all aspects of the Grant event to a great success. During the challenges and restrictions of lockdown, Ben was proactive to book out a range of resources and equipment so that he could continue with his practical work even though we weren't in college. Working with fellow musicians and collaborating online, Ben was able to create a stage musical piece demonstrating both top level musicianship skills but also recordings of the highest quality, particularly considering they were submitted from home. It is genuinely a pleasure working with Ben and his efforts have not gone unnoticed by other departments, particularly the performing arts team who have drafted him in to provide technical support and sound support for this year's showcase event. If I was asked to put forward a learner for a work experience or job opportunity, Ben would be my first choice every time. I'm confident that he will do well in the future, whatever that holds, and we would wish Ben all the luck with those plans. Well done, Ben. You are our Music Student of the Year. Along with our subject-specific awards, I'm delighted to announce that a student from the Creative Arts Department has also won a College Open Award. Open Awards were created in 2020 to offer an opportunity for staff to nominate students beyond the traditional departmental awards. I'm delighted to announce that April Smith has won the award for overcoming adversity. Well done April. This was an award that was open to submissions from across the college so it's a huge honour for me to be able to read the following words to celebrate April's success with us. April has overcome so much since coronavirus pandemic hit us in 2020. She was anxious about it long before it became obvious just how much it was going to affect our daily lives. 
and she has to push and hard, work hard right from the outset to push these anxieties aside and ensure that her creative practice and work could continue. She found that she was anxious, afraid, and lost a lot of motivation to complete college work or to engage in everyday life. April has worked hard at turning this around and trying to be more positive and to live within the parameters of this new lifestyle. During the various lockdowns, April seems to have embraced safety measures and wears masks, which are very fitting to her personality and is very much aware of social distancing. She's been attending college some days and working in the Learning Resource Centre to make sure that she's kept on top of the workload. To continue to do this despite that anxiety marks her out as someone willing to challenge those periods of adversity. April has been supported on a couple of projects through various staff and all have been keen to say they're absolutely delighted to see her now back to her usual lovely bubbly self. Working hard with her peers and wanting to do the absolute best she can as she comes to the end of her journey with the art and design department. Not only has April worked hard to overcome all the difficulties that this pandemic has brought, but she has still concerned herself for the welfare of others. She constantly thinks about others, worries about them, and does what she can to support them through these times. This really is quite selfless in the middle of a pandemic. May I take this opportunity to congratulate April sincerely on being the person that she is, for working so hard to overcome many adversities and barriers brought about by the pandemic, and to wish her all the very best for the coming year. April, if you can overcome this, you can overcome anything. Well done, April. Hello and welcome to the Business Studies FE Awards for 2021. My name is Kirsty Hopkinson and I'm the Head of Business and Travel at Howe College. First, we have our Business Student of the Year for Redditch and Bromsgrove. Our winner for this year is Abil Abu Baker. Our business team have provided a citation for this award. During the two years that Abil has been on our course, we have seen him mature into a polite and thoughtful young man. He has shown real commitment to expanding the knowledge of business, not only through his coursework, but through further opportunities outside of the classroom. Abil sourced, applied for and took part in a virtual work experience recently, which demonstrated his commitment to go beyond coursework in order to further his career. His ambition to succeed is also seen in his approach to visitors at the college. At a careers event, we were impressed to see that he approached the speakers personally, introducing himself and asking further questions of them. Throughout a difficult year with remote learning and all the issues that accompany this, Abil has continued to engage and complete work. When he had access difficulties at home with technology, he made use of college facilities to ensure that he was up to date and on target. Abil is approachable and he's always happy to help other members of the class with their work. He works well as a team and can take a lead. He has a real passion to make a difference in the world and this drives his studies. It is this confident and dedicated approach that will see Abil do well in the world of business. Abil, we wish you well on whatever course you choose to take where you confident that you drive, your dedication will make you a success. Congratulations. For our next award, we have the Outstanding Achievement in Business for Redditch and Bromsgrove. Our winner for this year is Abby Gordon. The following words have been provided for Abby by the business team. Abby joined the business group having previously studied catering at the college. She has had a very co clear career path from the start of the course and wishes to combine her catering skills and her business acumen to carve a career in hospitality. Abby has developed her skills over the two years and she has been in the department working hard. Her willingness to engage with staff and to take on board advice has led to achieving high grades. Abby has grown in confidence and self-belief and it has been a pleasure to watch her blossom. Abby is a thoughtful and kind young lady who is always willing to help others in her group. She works well as a team and is a respected member of the group. She is punctual and her work is always on time and of a good quality. 
These are qualities which will lead Abby going on to a successful career. Abby, it has been a pleasure for us to see you grow in skills and confidence over the last two years. We wish you well in all that you do. Well done. For our next award, we have the Business Student of the Year for Worcester and Malvern. Our winner this year is Ellie Hanley Hall. The following words have been provided for Ellie by the business team. Ellie thoroughly deserves her further education award. She has demonstrated commitment and dedication to her studies throughout her two years on the business course. Ellie is a very positive individual and has bucket loads of ambition to have a successful career in business. Her determination to be the best that she can be has resulted in her achieving distinctions across all units. Despite an unsettling last 12 months, Ellie has shown maturity and resolve and she always has ensured that she engages in online lessons while keeping positive throughout. Ellie always gets involved in lessons with enthusiasm and contributes some great ideas. She has the making of a shrewd businesswoman. As well as this, Ellie has a kind nature and often helps others in the class, using her natural communication and skills to support and advise. We're excited for Ellie's future and know that whatever she turns her hand to, she will make a success of it. Please make sure you keep in touch, Ellie. We wish you lots of luck. Well done. For our next award, we have the Outstanding Achievement in Business for Worcester and Malvern. Our winner for this year is Jessica Bird. The following words have been provided before Jessica by the business team. Jessica started her course with eagerness and has flourished, demonstrating a strong aptitude for, her bus for business throughout her involvement in lessons and excellent assignment work. She has a warm nature, always smiling, saying good morning and asking how you are. She is very popular with peers and staff due to her positive and friendly nature. Jessica has a keen and eager mind and clearly enjoys learning, always striving to get the most out of every opportunity. She gives every lesson to her all, participating in discussions and working well both independently and with others. During such a turbulent 18 months in her education, it is admirable how Jessica always sees the positive and does everything without complaint. Throughout lockdown, she engaged in online lessons, participated well in breakout rooms and demonstrated exceptional drive and enthusiasm. Her positive attitude influences others in her peer group. She is a very influential member of the class. Academically and personally, Jessica has really excelled this year, achieving high grades across many units. Je Jessica demonstrates real promise for a very successful second year and onwards into a rewarding career in business. Congratulations, Jess. The business team and I would like to say a very big well done to all of our students over the past 12 months. An extra congratulations to the FE Award winners for their hard work, determination and success. Good luck. Hi there, welcome to the Computer and Digital Media FE Awards for 2021. My name is Donna and I'm the CRQ leader for the department. So I'm just going to read out who our award winners are. So firstly, we have the Computing Students of the Year for Redditch and Bromsgrove, and that is Asmat Faisan. Well done. So your tutors, Asmat, have said that they believe that you should win this award for the way that you've conducted yourself throughout the year. Asmat faces a number of challenges, but despite this, his attendance to college has remained high even during the lockdown and home learning. Asmat will always try his best with all work set. He is always fully engaged with all of his tutors, regularly asking relevant questions after the sessions. Asmat is always friendly, approachable and polite and is easy to converse with. It is clear to see the improvement he has made in time management, organisation and hitting the deadline set by tutors. His determination and persistence make him stand out from his peers, and I believe this will only continue throughout his educational journey. Well done, Asmat. Okay, and our next winner is for the category of Digital Media, Games Design Student of the Year for Redditch and Bromsgrove, and this is Lockie Carberry. Well done, Lockie. So your tutors have said that you are currently on the second year of your Level 3 Games Design course, and throughout the course, you have proved yourself to be an exemplary student. In addition to completing all of your work to the highest standards, you're also the first to volunteer for any opportunities to make a positive contribution to college life. 
As a course rep, you have been able to convey the views of the group in a professional and constructive manner. You have also volunteered to, per to participate in college open events and you give an excellent account of student life to prospective new students and their families. Lockie also undertook a work experience placement for a local charity which repurposes old IT equipment. The feedback for the employer was glowing as they loved his commitment and mature attitude to the placement. It has been a pleasure having Lockie on the course and we are all sure that he will continue to enjoy much deserved success in the future. Well done Lockie. Okay, and our next winner as Computing Student of the Year for Worcester and Malvern area is Josh Burton. Well done, Josh. So your tutors have said that you joined us last year on Level 2 and you have since progressed to be one of our Level 3 students. Throughout this challenging year, you have demonstrated an exemplary attitude towards your work, rising to every challenge set before you. Josh, you have proven to be a resilient and valued member of the group who is always happy to support other students. You are very confident in the work that you submit and you're never afraid to push yourself further and to aim higher than the standards of the course and consistently achieve the high grades you deserve. Well done. Okay, so our winner of the Digital Media Games Design Student of the Year for Worcestershire is Chris Lezeniex. Your tutors, Chris, have said that you're a diligent individual who executes all tasks with refined maturity. Your quality of work is always the highest standards. You've continued to work meticulously on assignments during lockdown, supporting the rest of the class with your good humour and vibrant attitude. Chris, you have displayed the fortitude and high academic standards that exemplify the values of the college. Well done, Chris. Okay, and our award for the Billy White Endeavour Award is Kian Lewis Cook. Well done, Kian. So, your tutors have said, Kian, that you join the course in what can only be described as an extremely challenging year. From the moment you arrived in college, you showed a can do attitude, and your success and fantastic approach to work continued from there. Kian, you have consistently shown an industrious and dedicated attitude towards your work and studies, and you have reacted positively to feedback and development points raised following the completion of your assignments. Kian, you have been highly engaged, adapting well to the different types of teaching and learning strategies we have needed to adopt due to the changes which COVID-19 have dictated. You have embraced and risen to the challenges of completing work to a very good standard consistently throughout the year, and you've striven to achieve high grades. Your work is vibrant and details, detailed, and it is easy to see the great effort you've put in. Kian, you've shown a great flair, flair for your course and the activities involved. You've been a conscientious student and we can see you having a great future with, with hopes that you will return to study again with us next year. Kian, your resilience, adaptability and passion for your studies has shone out this year and you've been an asset to the student body in the computing and di digital media department. We can see that you will have a very bright future and you should be so proud of your studious attitude and the work we have seen you produce in spite of such a difficult year. Well done, Kian. We would like to say a really big thank you to all of the students in our department for doing so well in such a difficult year. Um, and we'd like to obviously send our congratulations to all of our FE award winners for their hard work, determination and success throughout their time at Howe College. We wish you nothing but the best for your next endeavours. Hello and welcome to the Construction FE Awards for 2021. My name's Alex Beresford and I'm the personal tutor for construction in Alliance House Redditch here at Howe College. First, we have the Plumbing Student of the Year for Redditch and Bromsgrove. Our winner for this year is Aidan Hickey. Our plumbing tutor, Richard Abbotts, has provided a citation for this award. Aidan came straight into level two plumbing with no experience of the subject, but this has never phased Aidan, not for one moment. He came in with his Grealish inspired hairdo and got on with his studies showing tenacity, commitment and resilience. His work to start with is what you would expect as a teacher. Let's say a little bit rough around the edges, but taking feedback on board and by repeating the tasks until he was happy with his standards, Aidan's work soon not only took to a very high standard, but he produced an, it in an ergonomical way. He made clear sequences that he would use for different tasks. His attitude to work is first class. He always wants more. He comes into the workshop on his days off. He will work through breaks when you allow him to do so. He is always the first student in and the last student to leave and always leaves with a thanks for your help. He is what we would call a plumbing machine. 
He obviously finds the practical enjoyment, but he always wants more and has found the theory side more challenging. This has had some retakes for exams. You can see the disappointment in his face when he fails, but this only goes on to push him. He will push himself harder and will always succeed in the end. Personally, he is polite and well-mannered and a credit to himself. He has been an absolute pleasure to work with this year and he will make a great plumber of this, we have no doubt. Congratulations, Aidan, on this fantastic achievement. For our next award, we have the Plastering Student of the Year. This is for construction in Redditch. Our winner this year is Becky Hughes. The following words have been provided for Becky by her tutor, Mike Weber. Becky has continued to work hard this academic year and has demonstrated an unrivalled commitment to learning amongst her peers. Her attendance and punctuality are exemplary and she always returns her work in a timely fashion. Becky has adapted very well to her online learning and has maintained her commitment throughout lockdown. Well done, Becky, for all of your hard work this year. For our next award, we have the Brick Lane Student of the Year Award. Our winner for this year is Kezia Needham. The following words have been provided for Kezia by her tutor, Steve Flynn. Kez is a very bright student who has gone over and above to attend. She has kept her cool and passed all of her exams at the same time as holding down a job. She is resilient, has a fantastic sense of humour, but is a very determined young lady. She is the only female student in brickwork and she has proved to us that she will definitely go far. Well done, Kez, for all of your hard work. For our next award, we have the Wood Occupation Student of the Year. Our winner for this year is Dane Callahan. The following words for Dane have been provided by his tutor, Cyril Rowe. Dane is currently on the Level 2 Diploma in Site Carpentry. After successfully completing the Level 1 Diploma in Carpentry and Joinery, in previous years, Dane has achieved the certificate in Multicrafts and Level 1 and Level 2 in Plastering. He is an all-round student now whose attendance and punctuality is of a high standard. He is committed to his studies, he is always in his online lessons and his practical tasks too. Dane will do well in any trade that he wishes to pursue in the future and it has been a pleasure for all of us to have taught him. Well done Dane for all of your hard work this year. Along with our subject specific awards, we're thrilled to announce that a student from our department has won an open award this year too. Our open awards were first created in 2020 to provide an opportunity for more students to be recognised for the great attributes that they possess within all aspects of their lives. Such awards are not specific to age, subject or level of study, meaning that anyone is eligible to be nominated. This one has been nominated for the All Rounder Award. So our All Rounder Award for Redditch and Bromsgrove this year goes to Luke Brecknell. Luke is a good all-rounder. He is courteous, helpful, punctual, and a definitely a practical person. He enjoys bricklaying and asks pertinent questions. He is quite proficient with his brickwork. He is keen to do this and wants to excel. He is proactive and wants to know what subject topics we're on to next. He has his own trowel, so he's self-reliant. He would be good as an apprentice, but first of all needs to work that little bit harder with his maths and English qualifications. He can mix mortar, he stacks bricks and is very good at housekeeping. He is very quick on the uptake in theory, doesn't live locally, but always manages to come in on time. Well done Luke, you have done so well this year. He tries very hard and he will always contact us if there are any issues at all. He will always take the lead with everything, be that from remixing or helping others. He has been absolutely fantastic and a true, true all-rounder. Congratulations, Luke, on winning this award and for all of the work that you've put in this year. My name is Ryan Probert and I'm the CRQ leader for construction at Malvern and Worcester. I'm now going to read some relevant words from the tutors in regards to the um, allocated awards. So first of all, we have the Plumbing Student of the Year Award for Worcester, um, which goes to Ben Dennis. Ben has always shown great enthusiasm and interest throughout the year. He's achieved 100% attendance and produced good work throughout the duration of the course, always showing a willingness to learn and strives to reach goals within his course. He's a polite young man who is always willing to help when asked and assist with others. Ben will excel within the plumbing industry and has shown a strong interest in the subject. 
It is envisaged that Ben will continue to progress within plumbing and move on to the MBQ qualification. Congratulations, Ben, on this fantastic achievement. Well done. And for our next award, we're going to choose the Brick Lane Student of the Year. Um, this award goes to Alex Bennett. Alex has been a role model student for the whole Level 1 group this year. He's very punctual and shows a willingness to learn something new every time that he is in college. Alex's work ethic is second to none by completing all training tasks in addition to extra work with stretching challenge models. Alex also has a part-time job which he balances while with his college studies. Alex's attention to detail is what stands him apart from his peers. Alex is one of stu few students who has maintained a high standard to achieve distinctions in all practical assessments throughout the duration of his studies and his completed and completeness itself warrants a lot of recognition. Well done Alex, great achievement. For our next award we have the Carpenter of the Year and I'm pleased to say this award goes to Daniel Parker. Daniel first started the college in 2018 as part of the school provisions and has progressed since attending college within that group. He always attempts all tasks with great enthusiasm and would regularly be helping his peers with their work. Daniel has a medical condition which has resulted in him having many trips and visits to hospital and undergoing several operations. However, this has not deterred him from his studies and he has excelled within all areas. Daniel's attendance is maintained at 100% and he is always first within the workshop in the morning carrying his growing collection of carpentry tools and clipping on his tool belt eager to get started on his tasks. Daniel is the backbone of the group and he has successfully passed all assessments to date and I wish him all the very best for the future. Well done Daniel. For our next award it is the Painting and Decorating Student of the Year. This award goes to Lewis Scullion. Lewis Scullion has been a model student and this is not due to his high attendance, good timekeeping and positive attitude that makes him stand out as these are normally usual. What has made Lewis stand out from his peers over the past two years is the extra enthusiasm for the course in theory and practical work with his work setting the standard for others to aspire to. When not completing his own work and additional tasks, Lewis is able to assist other learners within his group demonstrating leadership qualities. Throughout his studies at college, Lewis has been a credit to himself and has been a great ambassador for the painting and decorating department. His tutor, formerly a site supervisor, states that he would love to have a workforce full of Lewis Scullions. Well done, Lewis. Great work. Along with our subject-specific awards, we are th thrilled to announce that a student from our department has won an open award this year for Magnificent Mail, and this award goes to Jacob Barrow. Jacob initially started the Level 1 Carpentry program and found it very challenging and almost left the program at one point. He missed an excess of 20 English and maths lessons and had fallen drastically behind to the point that he felt he could not achieve. However, after numerous meetings with Jacob and his mother, he completely turned this around and caught up on all outstanding work, including his English and maths. Jacob is now one of the furthest ahead and should he continue to employ himself, he will achieve this year with ease and excel within the carpentry and joinery qualification. Congratulations, Jacob, on winning this award and well done for all your hard work. So well done to all of our winners this year. We hope you're pleased with all that you have achieved at Howe College and we definitely wish you the very best in whatever it is you choose to do for the future. Hello and welcome to the Early Years FE Awards for 2021. My name is Suze Filkin and I'm an Early Years and Health Social Care Lecturer at Howe College. First we have the Early Years Student of the Year Award for Worcester. Our winner for this year is Harriet Mobbs. Harriet is currently studying for a second year of a Level 3 childcare course. She has previously completed the Level 2 course and prior to this she completed the Level 1 STEP programme. Harriet has, has grown in confidence so much over the three years she has been with us. During this year, Harriet has started working part-time at a care home and has successfully managed to stay up to date with her work, attend lessons and also to work at the same time. Her attendance and punctuality has always been good and she was always keen and enthusiastic. She will often bounce into a room and brighten up the others in the group by her willingness to take part in the discussions, volunteer answers and to share her ideas. From a shy, nervous, quiet student in Level 2, she has always worked hard and done her best. In Level 3, she has really found her voice and will ask questions in class and is always polite, 
helpful and supportive of others. She's also a genuinely nice person. It has been fantastic to see her develop as a person and she really deserves to be moving into the next stage of her development as she has been given con conditional acceptance at Norland, a very prestigious nursery nursing provider. As a department, we will all miss her. Well done, Harriet, on this fantastic achievement. Hello, I'm Karen Cole and I work in the Early Years Department at Redditch. The Departmental Award for Student of the Year goes to May Fullerton. May has progressed from Level 2 to Level 3 Early Years with determination. There was no doubt in her mind that she was completing her time with Heart of Worcestershire College with an offer for a teaching course at university. May was the first student in her group to submit her UCAS application and has received several offers, including one unconditional. Throughout her time at college, May has proven not only that she is resilient and persistent, but that she possesses leadership skills, is organised and aims high. Her academic development has been very evident throughout the three years of college. She is completing a level three as an A-star learner. Her motivation has contributed to her success to ensure a full understanding of what has been discussed in class. She researches above and beyond what has been covered and all assignments have been submitted on time. She works well to deadlines and attendance in college has been excellent. It has been a pleasure to see her confidence develop over the past three years. She has volunteered for the position of the student rep to ensure the voice of the group is heard. She's taken great pride in listening to the voice of her peers and instigating changes to improve not only her own, but all learners' experiences. Student of the Year is a title that suits May because she's excelled in her personal and academic development. She consistently demonstrates her determination, passion and commitment to being the best practitioner and learner she can possibly be. Hello and welcome to the Health and Social Care FE Awards for 2021. My name is Jenny Willis and I'm one of the lecturers in Health and Social Care at Howe College, Worcester. First, we have the Health and Social Care Student of the Year Award for Worcester and our winner for this year is Beth Robinson. Uh, the Health and Social Care team have put together these words about why we've chosen Beth for this award. When Beth started with us on Level 2 Health and Social Care, she'd come to us from Level 1 Catering and was keen to move on from that and try something new. She was a very lively member of the group and would admit that herself, and she was great at motivating the others and always very vocal in sharing her opinions. And sometimes she needed to be told not to share her ideas. She is now and has always been a barrel of fun and smiles and she's come such a long way since joining us way back when. In the early days, Beth lacked confidence in herself and she was never sure if she would cope with the level two qualification, let alone the level three. But here we are now, near completion of year two of the level three qualification with distinctions galore. And to top it all off, Beth has also been accepted to go to university. If ever there was a student who showed grit and determination to succeed against the odds, it's Beth. She should definitely be awarded student of the year to show others that are on level one programs that the sky really is the limit. Beth, we're so proud of you. All your past and present tutors, personal tutors included, cannot thank you enough for deciding to take this journey with us. And we wish you all the luck for your bright future. Congratulations, Beth, on this fantastic achievement. I'm Kieran Farmer. I'm a lecturer um, in health and social care at the Redditch campus. The health and social care departmental award uh, for student of the year goes to Caris Bully. Caris is determined to achieve her dream of becoming a qualified nurse. She is polite, hardworking and a bright young woman who has progressed well during her time at college, especially within her studies on Level 3 Health and Social Care. The improvements in Carrie's work from Level 2 and then Level 3 first year to second year have been clear to see. Aided by her significant uh, contributions in class, clear note taking and confidence in asking questions to further her understanding of a to topic. Simultaneously, she has sought to apply the knowledge gained in her course and to build on the 300 hours work experience she has gained in a variety of health and social care settings. During the COVID-19 pandemic, Caris successfully gained a part-time role in a care home, providing care and support to elderly residents nearing the end of their lives. 
Caris has thus been able to build on her understanding of confidentiality as well as building communication and empathy skills and is now using this experience to fuel her research project to improve the well-being of dementia residents. Despite contracting COVID-19, Caris continued to attend her online classes, submitting work on time, successfully attending university interviews and can now decide where to continue her st studies having been offered places as a student nurse at university. Caris has great potential as a nursing professional, showing maturity beyond, beyond her years alongside a caring, compassionate nature whilst demonstrating a breadth of knowledge and um, of understanding. She has been a delight to teach and we look forward to hearing about her future successes. My name is Sarah Phillips. I'm one of the lecturers in our department. Alongside our specific subject awards, we are thrilled to announce that some students from our department have won an open award this year. Our open awards were first created in 2020 to provide an opportunity for more students to be recognised for the great attributes they possess within all aspects of their lives. Such awards are not specific to age, subject or level of study, meaning everyone is eligible to be nominated. I'm pleased that Kaylee Hodgetts has been awarded the Above and Beyond Open Award. Kaylee has proven herself to be an outstanding student during her Level 3 Health and Social Care course. She has been tenacious and committed, demonstrating a desire to achieve and excel despite all challenges along the way. She is a model student who is not happy to settle for second best and she works tirelessly towards the goal of, attain of attending medical school. Kaylee is a has a pleasant disposition. She always contributes to class discussions, showing clear evidence of wider reading having been undertaken. Hence, she is on track to complete her course to a very high standard. This course demands that information is learnt and synthesised. Students have to fully and deeply take time to consider options and viewpoints of other people, requiring empathy, compassion, thoughtfulness that Kaylee has in abundance. She's been an asset to the group, offering support and encouragement to others in a humble and empathetic manner while continually seeking to expand her own knowledge. Alongside her studies, Kaylee has completed well over 400 hours of work, work experience in different health and social care settings. This includes paid employment in a local care home where her expertise and diligence have been recognised as she provides essential support to those within the setting. It has given her excellent experience and which will no doubt uh, will contribute to a successful interview and subsequent offer of a place at prestigious London University to study adult nursing. A selection deliberately chosen by Kaylee because it offers her the opportunity of a gateway year into medicine. Kaylee has been a real credit to the health and social care department and we wait in anticipation for the day that she fulfills her ambition. The health and social care award for most determined learner goes to Balau Abbas. Balau has newly arrived in this country and spoke very little English when she joined Heart of Worcestershire College as a student in Level 1 care. The team noticed her determination to communicate with other students, enabling her to understand instructions and complete work to the best of her ability. Since progressing to Level 2 Health and Social Care, Balau's determination to succeed has been evident in all areas of her study. Initially, she presented as a quiet student, always a pleasure to teach, polite, respectful and hard-working. Her dedication to learn continued as we now went into national lockdown. Despite the language challenges, Balau continued to attend all online lessons and was the first student to complete her placement project, writing several quizzes for care home residents with content ranging from word games, 1950s movies and historical events. The increase in Balau's knowledge of the lives of the history of the older British generation is impressive especially considering the effort involved in translating from English to Twi, Balau's hum language. Balau has been critically reflecting on her skills she has gained during her research, noting development of her reasoning and forward planning skills, as well as her presentation and digital skills. The quality of her work has always been commended. Balau's effort and progress has also been recognised by the maths team, specifically the, dependent, uh, the daily independent work she's completing and sharing with her tutor. She's engaged with additional online support sessions offered by the health and social care team An increase in her spoken contributions in class has been noted by all.
Bilal is determined to progress onto level three and considering the challenges she has already overcome, we hope this motivated student will continue to inspire us all next year. For our next award, we have the All Rounder Award. <clears throat> our winner for this year is Charlie Dovey. The following words have been provided for Charlie by everyone in our early years team. The All Round Award category is for those students who have provided um, all round support to all of their class members. Charlie is a key person in the class. She is supported towards her peers and spends time helping them to understand the concepts that they are learning in class. She is kind, caring and empathetic. Charlie is good at supporting the staff alongside her peers and this makes her one of a kind and a definite all-rounder. Where her real strength lies though is in her empathy towards others and the knowledge that she passes on to them from her previous experience is invaluable to her peers. Charlie started at college in 2018, studying level two and has progressed to level three. She is currently completing her first year and has had a fantastic first year, producing some work where she has gained A grades. These high scores are due to her determination and dedication. She works very hard at perfecting her assignments and this shows in the work she produces. She doesn't keep what she has learned herself though. She's often heard explaining to her peers how to do things that she has learned. This compassion for her peers is exceptional. Charlie thoroughly deserves this award for her determination, persistence, continued enthusiasm and passion in these current times. And her capacity to work to the best of her ability under the current pressure is outstanding. Her team playing attitude and her drive to support others in the class is second to none in her class. And even if she is ill herself, this does not hinder her ability to support others. Charlie obviously thrives on hard work and rises to any challenge she faces full on. Her attendance and punctuality are both 100%. Well done, Charlie. Our next award goes for a magnificent male award to Oliver Moran. Oliver began his time at Heart of Worcestershire College on a level one care course before progressing through to level two childcare where he worked hard to focus on his maths and English skills, improving them from grade two to four. Oliver is now in his final year on the level three diploma in childcare and education. Early years is often viewed as predominantly a female sector. However, Oliver has not let this deter him and has showed determination and dedication to the course, demonstrating an outstanding commitment to his work placements. Even volunteering through the coronavirus pandemic to support his placement colleagues. Oliver is creative and his activities he plans for the children he works with um, show ability to consider their individual needs while acting as a positive male role model. Oliver demonstrates a good work ethic, has built strong and positive relationships with both his peers and tutors in college, as well as those in his work placement. Whilst in the work environment, Oliver shows good initiative and professionalism and has often received positive feedback from his mentors. Oliver is a natural born leader and will often assume responsibility during group activities in class, demonstrating strong leadership and communication skills, which will take him far in his chosen career. For our next award, we have the most determined. Our winner for this year is Chloe Poole. The following words have been provided by the whole of the Early Years Department. Chloe joined the Early Years course in September 2020. When she first joined the early years cohort, she was a shy student and often very reserved in lessons. During her time with us at the Heart of Worcester College, she has consistently worked hard to overcome this and has worked purposefully, purposefully to be able to conquer these challenges. Determined that they will not hold her back in her achievements and in her personal life. Although Chloe has faced obstacles during her time with us, she has always persevered. And this is a huge credit to her character and inward determination to succeed. Chloe is a polite, hardworking, punctual student who is kind, caring and supportive towards her peers. Chloe is a friendly student who is always tries to make people feel at ease, even though she herself is quite a reserved person and at times can find it difficult to find the confidence to answer questions and join in group discussions. She is fiercely pushed her own limits to achieve fantastic attendance in all lessons, whether they be online or in college, which is a huge achievement during these uncertain times as we navigate through this pandemic. 
Chloe admirably manages her workload effectively to enable her to be up to date with assignments and tasks set despite facing personal obstacles, she always works hard and is motivated to succeed. Chloe is a resilient young lady who always gives her best in every situation and pushes herself determined not to let anything hold her back. Chloe is on track to achieve her target grade this year and her lecturers and tutors are enormously proud of her. Congratulations, Chloe, on this fantastic achievement. Okay, and the award for the learner who has surpassed expectations goes to Lucy Mae Jones. Lucy arrived on a Level 3 Early Years course after a year of Level 3 in Travel and Tourism. Her career aspirations were to be a holiday rep working in kids clubs abroad. Initially, she struggled to juggle the demands of the course, the amount of assignments, placement days, her job in a local supermarket and her pre-Covid social life caused her problems. Her motivation to succeed academically began to wane. Attendance, performance and attitude took a downward turn. There was talk that she didn't want to complete. At the start of year two, a new Lucy May emerged. She had gained determination to complete the course. She wanted to gain C grades for her assignments. She thought she might like the idea of applying to university. She remembered she was interested in philosophy, but thought it beyond her reach. Year two of this course has required her to evaluate, debate, analyse and critically interpret practice, policies and theoretical perspectives. A light turned on on Lucy May and she began to grow and grow. UCAS applications were being prepared by the rest of the group and Lucy decided to apply for the philosophy and ethics course she thought was beyond her. The points required for university meant she needed grades greater than her of the assignments. Responding to this requirement, Lucy May attempted A-star grades and achieved them. Attendance, performance and attitude has shifted for the better. Lucy received offers from all five of her university choices and is planning to study in Leeds and work towards her goal of becoming a teacher. Lucy May has surpassed expectation and has found that despite being on the point of giving up, she found the strength and motivation to pursue something she never thought she could a true inspiration. The most enthusiastic award category is for students who have shown faultless enthusiasm, passion and determination towards not only their so chosen subject but anything else they put their mind to. The winner for the most enthusiastic award for Worcester this year is Jess Probert. Um, and the health and social care team between us have put together these words uh, to explain why Jess deserved this award. Jess joined our college in 2020 and she joined the Level 3 Health and Social Care course. She was fresh from school and excited to get going. Jess is such an amazing character and although she's faced some serious obstacles through her school years, she's come through them as a ray of sunshine. Jess brings enthusiasm in vast quantities to all of her lessons. She, know, she is known as the positivity chicken. And in times during lockdown, when her peers and tutors may have been lacking a spark and energy, she came through with her positive quotes to end every lesson and a smile and a giggle that managed to get us all through. Jess is the first to participate in any group discussions and never allows a lesson to be silent, chivying on her peers and encouraging them to answer questions and filling them all with belief in themselves through the constant support and praise she offers them. However, behind this bundle of excitement was a young lady that lacked confidence and she has built a facade around herself with smiles and happy-go-lucky appearance, but behind that she was struggling with her exams and just could not pass her Unit 1 mocks. But with a bit of encouragement and reassuring talk, Jess suppressed all of her own expectations, not ours, and got a merit in her January exam. This has led not only to a Jess who believes in her peers, but a Jess that is now even beginning to believe in herself. Jess, we are so proud of you and how hard you've worked and the way you've continuously stayed positive and shared your enthusiasm for learning with your group. And this is why we believe you should win the most enthusiastic learner of 2020-21. This award is for most, most enthusiastic um, and it goes to Ellie Dickinson. Ellie started her journey at the college in 2019 um, and is now coming to the end of a level three health and social care course. From the start, Ellie has always pushed herself to achieve the highest possible grade in all her work. 
She has shown consistent enthusiasm and dedication to all her learning, whether this be in uh, the classroom environment or an online platform. Ellie's approach to her academic development has not wavered. She is always quick to address any additional work that needs to be completed in order for her to achieve her target grade. Ellie pushes herself and shows the utmost maturity in completing her work, which is always handed in on time and completed to a very high standard. Um, Ellie is an all-round positive person. She provides support to all her peers, whether this be from a learning or a personal perspective. Her passion to complete an adult nursing degree at university and a career in the NHS is her main focus. Ellie will tell you that her reasons for wanting to do adult nursing is because it's challenging, but a rewarding job. She wants to care for people at their lowest point whilst giving them the compassion that they deserve. Her confidence in her own ability has grown within a short period of time at placement and the enthusiasm she brings to the learning environment. It has been a pleasure to teach Ellie during the two year course um, and we wish her every success in her future achievements, both academic and personal. We are also thrilled to announce that another health and social care student has won another open award. So the award for the outstanding participation prize goes to Hayley Mills. Hayley is funny, kind, caring, lively, and a very popular member of the class, both with the students and staff. She has an infectious laugh and always greets you with a smile. She's a very hardworking student with excellent attendance. She's always motivated, enthusiastic, and extremely conscientious. She has a naturally positive outlook on life and will willingly offer support to her peers, encouraging quieter members of the group to join in. She will happily work in a team with anyone in her group. Hayley is developing good presentation skills and writing to a good academic standard, attempting the higher grades in all units. She's willing to participate in all class activities and completes all of her assignments in good time. She engages in every lesson and tries very hard with any activities that she's faced with. She asks pertinent and well thought out questions during our lessons and she tries her hardest in everything that she does and takes great but quiet pride in her achievements. She's very modest about her capabilities and achievements. Haley is a capable and confident student who approaches all aspects of college life with maturity and a positive attitude. She was proud to be chosen as student rep for her group. She always displays appropriate behavior and can be relied on to make thoughtful and well-considered contributions in lessons and tutorials, whilst being respectful that not everyone may have the same view. Haley's key strengths are her zest for life, her determination, and her enthusiasm to try anything once. She's an absolute pleasure to teach. She's an excellent member of the class and the whole department think this award is very well deserved. Congratulations, Hayley. The next award is for a fearless female um, and it goes to Maya Campbell. Maya is hardworking, conscientious um, and a dedicated student who has developed excellent communication and organisational skills throughout her studies at college. Her cheerful, enthusiastic manner has enabled her to overcome her own learning challenges and focus on her forthcoming career. Maya continuously applies herself to a high standard with focus um, on her confidence, demonstrating a natural ability to understand complex sociological issues. Maya's natural moral sense guides her work, especially her thinking around anti-discriminatory practice empowerment and human rights. Her work is both um, considered and thought provoking, challenging the lecturer's views and perceptions. As a respected member of the group, her peers listen intently as she eloquently details her own experiences during important debates, showing her passion towards building a more equal society in Britain. She continues to hone her personal and professional skills having completed over 300 hours of placement in a range of health and social care settings and has continued to care um, uh, continued her care work throughout lockdown it is no surprise therefore that Maya has received her university offers and can choose the best environment to fulfill her aspirations and flourish as an occupational therapist 
it has been a pleasure to teach Maya. I'd like to wish congratulations to Ashley Harris for an open award for outstanding work ethic. Ashley is in the year one of health and social care. She was a late applicant on the course, so missed the first two weeks, but she settled in very quickly despite having been out of education for the previous year. Ashley deals with the many challenges in her personal life, but also maintains a positive attitude. Ashley submits her work on time, stretching herself to achieve on the first submission and is on track to, re to achieve her target grade. She is bright and articulates her views very clearly with her knowledge both on her written work and in class. She has received many commendations for independent work that she has submitted for maths and in participation for additional support sessions. Ashley is a supported student who engages well and is proactive in asking for help when she needs it. Alongside her studies and caring responsibilities, Ashley also works at the local hospital. This experience is helping her to progress towards her goal of becoming a nurse. She is one of the student reps for her group and approaches this role with the same conscientious attitude she applies to all other aspects of her life. Well done, Ashley. Hello and welcome you know, to uh, Engineering Worcester uh, FE Award 2021. Uh, uh, my name is Dr. Mohamed Milani and you know, I'm the vocational and technical leader for engineering, electrical installation and automotive uh, at Worcester campus. Uh, first, we will have um, Engineering Student Award for Worcester. Our winner for this year is Ali Saunders. Our Worcester engineering team has provided a citation for this award. Ali has demonstrated a driven, conscientious and mature approach toward his studies. Ali has been described by his tutors as a rare breed of students which, uh, whose, nature, uh, whose natural ability and excellent work ethic have led him uh, to continually produce work to an exceptionally high standard. When departments were asked to nominate a, le a learner for this uh, award, uh, Ali has a, a conscious number one choice for this award. The engineering team wish Ali the best in his uh, future endeavors. Okay, congratulations Ali on this fantastic achievement. For our next award, we have the Andrew Sadler Electrical Installation Student of the Year Award for Worcester Campus. Our winner for this year is Jack Polly. The following words have been uh, provided by Jack, uh, for Jack by his uh, lecturer, Andy Chapman. Jack has been at the college uh, for the past two challenging years and have performed uh, at a high standard throughout. Despite having to deal with two lockdowns, he has always kept on track uh, with his work and has co uh, consistently, uh, consistently gained high, uh, high pass mark in all his uh, exams to date. At the time of uh, writing uh, this, he is well on his way to complete his level three advanced diploma in electrical installation. Jack has a number of uh, jobs offer for, uh, for, when they, uh, for when he completes his uh, college work. Jack has, no, uh, has maintained a positive attitude and uh, when his tutor were asked to nominate someone uh, for this award, there was no hesitation on putting Jack, uh, Jack's name forward. Well done, Jack, uh, for all your hard work this year. My name's Carl Hartley. I'm the Automotive Quality Lead for the Worcester Campus. Uh, this award is for the Automotive Student of the Year and I'm pleased to present it to Lewis Baker. Uh, Lewis has attended Howe College since Level 1 uh, in the Automotive Department. Uh, he's been studying with us for the last four years and has recently come back from America to continue his studies on Level 3 Automotive. Uh, he's met the challenges of the course and pers persevered with aspects of the course that he finds difficult, including working with his maths and English studies, as well as balancing his home and work life to complete his work in a timely manner. Lewis has vastly improved in self-confidence over the years and has managed his personal work commitments to become an active and well-liked member of the group. Uh, he's currently on the student rep for this Level 3 group and uh, feedback student opinions to SLT during meetings. Lucy's sense of humour and his ability to get on with other members of his group uh, have led to him being quite popular and we're sure that this will stand him instead with his future career. Uh, we'd all like to congratulate Lewis on this achievement and it's a great pleasure to work with him and we wish him all the best for the future. 
Hello and welcome to the Student Awards for Engineering, Electrical and Automotive here at the heart of Worcestershire College uh, for our Bromsgrove campus. My name is Alex Gardner and I'm a personal tutor for electrical and motor vehicle students. Firstly, we have our Motor Vehicle Student of the Year Award for Bromsgrove and the winner is Reef Malley. Reef has adapted well to the changes this year and has shown a real commitment to his learning and success making it a joy to teach him. He's not only impressed the theory and practical tutors, Lewis and Ivan, but has received regular praise from support staff, management, English and maths tutors, learning mentors and technicians. He has an outstanding attitude to learning, great curiosity and a wonderful polite manner. Reef is a clear example of a student that shows that hard working, being polite and kind a great ingredients to doing well in your chosen course. Well done Reef. please continue as you are and you will most certainly become the vehicle technician that you wish to be. Congratulations. Next is our John Jones Automotive Student of the Year Award and the winner of this is Liam Sullivan. Liam is an extremely hard working student on the motor vehicle level two after progressing from level one last year. His work is nothing short of outstanding and he has an excellent attitude in both his practical and theory lessons. He asks exceptional questions and works to a very high standard. Liam has a positive attitude to work, always contributes and is a brilliant personality to have within the group. Alongside his college work, Liam runs his own business fixing and maintaining lawnmowers during his time away from college, which he manages very well alongside his education. Liam is an outstanding student on the motor vehicle programme who, without a shadow of a doubt, will do extremely well in his chosen career path. Well done, Liam. You've made all of us in the motor vehicle team extremely proud to be playing a part in your college experience. Hello, my name's Dan Morris. I'm the lecturer here at Bromsgrove for Engineering. I'm here to announce the award for the Richard Gilbert Award for Outstanding Achievement in Engineering. I'm pleased to say that this award goes to Dylan Clark. He has been nominated for this award because of his outstanding achievement that he has done in class. He has spent this year progressing more and more each day and every lesson. His work during lockdown was fantastic. He was in every lesson, he was communicating with myself on a day-to-day -day basis to make sure that he achieved what he needed to. Well done, Dylan, well deserved. Finally, for our department, we want to name the Engineering Student of the Year Award for Bromsgrove. The winner of this award is Courtney Johnson. At the start of the academic year, Courtney was not sure if electrical installation was the right course for her. We took some time to meet with Courtney and her mum in order to reassure her that Courtney had all the capabilities and the right attitude to be successful on the course. Courtney then made the brave decision to continue with her studies. Since then, Courtney has not only surprised herself, but her mum in how much progress and potential she has as an electrician. Courtney is the highest achieving student in the class and is often asked to show other students how to carry out electrical tasks. Well done, Courtney, for making the decision to continue with your electrical course. You have made all the tutors and the college proud with your dedication and commitment to this course. It is an absolute delight and pleasure to have you in the electrical installation program. We'd like to say a very big well done and thank you to all of our students for doing so well in a difficult year and an extra congratulations to all of our FE award winners for their hard work, determination and success throughout their time at Heart of Worcestershire College. We wish you nothing but the best for your next endeavour. Hello and welcome to the English FE Awards for 2021. My name is Nicole Morris and I'm Head of English at Howe College. First we have the GCSE English Student of the Year Award for Redditch and Bromsgrove. Our winner for this year is Anastasia Kiriakou. Our Redditch English lecturer Natalie Newman has provided a citation for this award. Whilst working online during lockdown, Anastasia has been both conscientious and diligent in all her efforts. She has remained focused and on task throughout, completed every task assigned, 
and contributed enthusiastically in every lesson. Her work has been of a high standard as she has engaged well in all lessons and has asked pertinent questions to ensure that she knows what is ex expected of her. Although Anastasia does not find some of the work easy, she still tries her best and perseveres, and as such, she has produced some of the best pieces of work in the class. Her contributions have also helped the learning of her peers, as she is often the first to answer in the chat. Anastasia has also supported her peers during the online lessons, being the first to offer a thumbs up or add to what they have said. She has attended all revision sessions and has taken on board all feedback that she has been given. Always the first to appear on the online lesson and always the last to leave, Anastasia has been polite and courteous, never failing to thank me for every lesson and being grateful for the support of the college in general. Congratulations, Anastasia, on this fantastic achievement. For our next award, we have the GCSE English Student of the Year Award for Worcester and Malvern. Our winner for this year is one of my students, Genevieve Baxter. Genevieve is currently studying on the Level 2 Certificate in Supporting Teaching and Learning course and has undertaken GCSE English alongside her studies to support her career development. Genevieve is our GCSE English Learner of the Year as she has shown a tremendous dedication to the course this year, achieving 100% attendance and punctuality despite family, college and work commitments. Genevieve is a highly self-motivated learner who endeavours to improve her skills, accepting nothing less than her best in every piece of work that she completes. She seeks, seeks feedback at every opportunity and always revisits work that she feels could be improved until she is satisfied that it is worthy of her skills. Furthermore, she has stretched herself to complete additional and optional homework despite a busy home life. This has led to her making great progress on the course this year and she should feel very proud of her diligence and work ethic. Genevieve is a friendly and positive member of the group who has been an absolute teacher's dream to teach this year. She's always so polite and shows appreciation and gratitude for any support and feedback that is given during and outside of lessons. I'm sure that Genevieve will achieve great success in everything that she does with her indefatigable nature and strong work ethic. She's a well-deserved recipient of this award and should feel enormously proud of herself and her achievement this year. Congratulations, Genevieve. For our next award, we have the Functional Skills English Student of the Year Award for Redditch and Bromsgrove. Our winner for this year is Jo Astley Morris. The following words have been provided by his English lecturer, Annette Gambino. Jo has been a functional English student for two years now while studying in construction. He has passed entry three English and is making great progress on the level one qualification this year. He has attended well and has always been focused and highly motivated in lessons despite the difficulties and disruptions he has faced with his learning. This year, Joe has faced the online lessons with positivity. He has always responded well verbally to the group sessions and has been a delight to teach on the occasions where he's been the only learner in attendance. Joe has completed all required work to the best of his ability and I have no doubt that he will achieve the qualification this year. I wish Joe the best of luck in the future and I'm sure that with his positive attitude, hard work and determination, he will make a success of whatever he aims to achieve in education and at work. Congratulations, Joe, on this fantastic achievement. For our next award, we have the Functional Skills English Student of the Year Award for Worcester and Malvern. Our winner for this year is Joe Shepherd. Our Worcester English lecturer, Angela Van Ortmerson, has provided a citation for this award. Jo Shepherd is currently studying a Level 1 Culinary Skills course with the Howe College in Worcester. I'm fortunate to have met Jo in my Functional Skills English class as his English lecturer for the first time this year. Throughout this challenging year, he has displayed commitment and overcome the pandemic obstacles, as well as demonstrating a mature approach to his lessons and tasks. He is an effervescent, energetic and positive individual who always gives of his best. He challenges himself and has achieved levels even he did not think he would by passing components of English that he thought were beyond his capabilities. Joe is accountable, responsible and always delivers. I found Joe to be a passionate and enthusiastic person 
who displays a positive attitude to learning with nothing ever seeming to be too much. He comes up with creative thoughts and has an outside of the box approach to ideas which I really admire. I feel confident that Joe will achieve all he sets his mind to as he is resilient, caring and determined. It really has been a pleasure to have Joe as a member of my class this year. His sense of humour and engagement in all the classroom activities, both in class and online, always brought a smile to my face. He is a good role model for other learners and has really brought an optimistic element to the class, showing us all that as long as you have the intention, you can overcome anything. Well done on your achievement, Joe. It is well deserved. Congratulations, Joe. Along with our subject specific awards, we are thrilled to announce that two students from our department have won an open award this year too. Our open awards were first created in 2020 to provide an opportunity for more students to be recognised for the great attributes they possess within all aspects of their lives. Such awards are not specific to age, subject or level of study, meaning anyone is eligible to be nominated. The Outstanding Participation Award category is for an individual who has a passion to participate, be it through class engagement and extra studying, to volunteering for open events, helping others and taking every opportunity available to them. This award is for the student who dedicates their time to all things education. The winner for the Outstanding Partic Participation Award for Redditch and Bromsgrove this year is Oliver Hatton. Oliver's English lecturer, Steve Hopkins, has shared the following words. Ollie is a mature and highly positive member of the group. His enthusiasm and engagement with group discussions has often been a catalyst for others to get involved. He takes critical feedback just as well as praise and has consistently demonstrated improvement in his work as a result. At times, Ollie has often adopted the role of an unofficial mentor to some of his peers, where his attitude has encouraged them to maintain their focus in lessons. One student specifically has demonstrated a huge improvement after being moved next to Ollie earlier in the year. Ollie was a very strong contender for the GCSE English Learner of the Year Award as well, as he has shown a faultless commitment to his studies this year, but it is support for others that makes him our champion in the Outstanding Participation category. Congratulations, Ollie, on winning this award and well done for all of your hard work. And the final open award is for Outstanding Creativity. This award category is for an individual who demonstrates exceptional creativity. This can be through their approach to learning, within quality of assignments, through original ideas and approaches to tasks, or all of the above. The winner for the Outstanding Creativity Award for Worcester and Malvern this year is one of my students, Richard Chowdhury. Rich is an evening adult learner who has returned to education to study both English GCSE and mathematics in order to progress onto higher education. Rich has demonstrated incredible enthusiasm and a full commitment to his studies where he has achieved 100% attendance. I nominated Rich for the Outstanding Creativity Award as he has demonstrated a particular and unmistakable flair for creative writing. Rich has produced a number of short stories during the year all of which show an immense talent for this craft. He has amazed me with the beauty of his writing, with one particular story moving me to tears with its originality, poignancy and heartfelt emotion. Rich was not required to write so many stories, but has done this out of the sheer joy of writing, having been inspired by his hero, Ernest Hemingway. He has read other great authors as well in order to hone his craft and has pushed himself out of his comfort zone to write in styles that do not come as naturally to him, but achieving greatness there too. It has been such a pleasure to have Rich in the class this year as he truly loves language. Upon request and as a true team player, he has shared his skills with the rest of the class so that they could also benefit from his talent and has been humble and modest in this act of kindness. Rich has given his all to this course, completing over and above the required level of work seeking and accepting feedback in order to improve and grasping every opportunity with both hands to ensure that he has made the most of this second chance. I've been astounded by Rich's writing skills and I hope that he continues to write in the future, bringing the same level of delight to as wide an audience as possible. Well done to all of our winners this year. We hope you are pleased with all you have achieved at Howe College and we wish you all the best 
in whatever future you choose to pursue. Hi, and welcome to the Mathematics SEPI Awards for 2021. My name is Vicky Evans, and I'm the Head of Maths at Heart of Worcestershire College. First, we have the GCSE Maths Learner, Learner of the Year for Redditch and Bromsgrove. Our winner for this year is Kerry Jukes. Our Redditch Mathematics lecturer, Kelly Henderson, has provided a citation for this award. Having taught Kerry for the last two years, she has been nominated for the GCSE Learner of the Year, Redditch Bromsgrove, due to her dedication and commitment, particularly over the last year. Kerry is always punctual to her lessons and has 96% attendance. Not only has she grown in confidence over the last year, she has worked hard consistently in the classroom as she, she has completed all of her work every week on Teams during lockdown. In addition to her classwork, Kerry has revised and practised all of the topics within the Maths syllabus on various websites such as Dr Frost and Seneca on a weekly basis outside of her lessons. This tremendous effort has resulted in Kerry improving her math skills and gaining an excellent understanding in all aspects of maths. I have enjoyed watching Kerry grow as a person and I feel proud of her accomplishments. I couldn't think of a more deserving person to get this award. Congratulations Kerry on this fantastic achievement. The next award is for the Fun Functional Mathematics Learner of the Year for Redditch and Bromsgrove. Our winner for this year is Connie MacDonald. The following words have been provided for Connie by her lecturer, Janet Fryer. Connie started in class last year, but then lost some time at the end of 2020 term as she was expecting a baby, so she had to take some time out. However, she remained on her course, she kept in touch and maintained her maths work using the materials on the Moodle page, sending me homework that she had done while she was out of college. Since Christmas, the online format has worked well, as Connie hasn't had to leave home and could do the work around caring for a baby even if it meant leaving it until later in the week. However, she still managed to get it all done. Connie has attendance in class and online, which is extremely good at 87%. So she's only missed a couple of weeks all year, which is absolutely incredible. Plus she has always tried her best to complete all work set in person and online. She is now back in college despite having some early mornings and disrupted nights and she has picked up where she left off. I would also like to make an honorary mention for Connie's grandmother as she has kept me up to date with Connie's progress and has also attended online maths with Connie so that she understands the topics too and can help her with additional work. It's great to see someone like that as support at home to any student and it's also good to see that Connie has continued with her studies since having the baby. Well done Connie for all your hard work this year. For our next award, we have the GCSE Mathematics Learner of the Year for Worcester and Malvern. Our winner for this year is one of my students, Jocelyn Humphreys. Jocelyn has been an absolutely outstanding student all year in GCSE Maths and thoroughly deserves this award. Although Jocelyn does not find mathematics the easiest subject, her determination and resilience has seen a remarkable improvement in her mathematical skills and ability. One word, amazing. Her commitment and determination to pass this year has seen Jocelyn attend weekly mentor, se mentor sessions on top of her timetable classes, where she has also had excellent attendance. During online lessons, Jocelyn was a shining light, participating fully and was always being fully engaged. Even when we were covering the more tricky topics, Jocelyn remained focused, positive and worked through the topics, never ever giving up. Also, every piece of work I have set, she has completed. I cannot praise her highly enough. As a result of all the hard work, Jocelyn's skills have improved no end. Jocelyn has flourished into someone who hated maths, into someone who now shows confidence in her mathematical skills and her ability has really, really improved. Well done, Jocelyn. It has been an absolute pleasure having you in my group this year and I wish you every um, well in your future career a very deserving um, student. For the next award we have the fun fun Functional Mathematics Learner of the Year for Worcester and Malvern. Our winner for this year is AJ Reeves. The following words have been provided by, for AJ by his lecturer, Becca Morris. From the start of this academic year, AJ has shown himself to be a committed and hardworking student who enjoys taking on new mathematical challenges all while, while maintaining a strong base knowledge. In lessons, AJ is the first to come up with answers and thrives when given the opportunity to develop his math skills further. AJ is a supportive member of the class 
who is always ready to help students in breakout rooms when they are unsure. In his regular class breakout room, AJ took on the role as le leader when his group tackled more challenging questions, developing both his understanding and the understanding of others. AJ is an outstanding student and I look forward to seeing him continue to thrive in his future pursuits. Well done AJ for all your hard work this year. As well as our departmental awards for um, mathematics, I've got two open awards um, to present today. My first one goes to Chloe Saxon, who's been nominated by her PLC, Tamsin Bayliss. And she'd, she's going to receive the Above and Beyond Award um, for Worcester and Malvern. Tamsin provided a citation as follows. Chloe is an exceptional young lady, as well as an exceptional student. She embraces all aspects of college life with relish and gives 100% to everything she does. As well as studying for her hair and beauty qualification, Chloe has been studying English and maths alongside, showing the same level of commitment to these as she does her vocational course. Chloe willingly accepts support in and out of lessons and recently was even willing to participate in a maths support session on her day off, stating it's very important. This perfectly illustrates Chloe's dedication and fantastic attitude towards her learning. Chloe is an absolute delight to work with at college. She participates and contributes in lessons and always gives her best to everything she's asked to do. All through the pandemic, Chloe has continued to work hard, completing every piece of work to her usual high standard and submitting everything on time. Chloe's attendance is outstanding as is her punctuality and attitude to learning. She's unfailingly polite and even though, even through the hardest of times, she's always had a smile on her face. Chloe's sunny disposition really does light up a room, even through the pandemic and all the struggles and difficulties it has presented. Chloe has remained cheerful and upbeat, concerning herself with others and their welfare. Outside of college, Chloe enjoys volunteering at her mum's place of work, where she's very popular with the residents she works with. She brings a smile to their faces and brightens their day, just as she does at college. This is Chloe's last year here with us at Howe, and she will be very much missed. She really does go above and beyond in all areas of her life. I would like to take this opportunity to wish her all the very best in the next placement with Mencap. They are very, very lucky to have her. Well done, Chloe, on the Above and Beyond Award. My next open award goes to Isabel Stewart for the Surpassed Expectation Awards, and she's been nominated again by Tamsin Bayliss. Tamsin provided the following citation for Izzy. Isabel has worked hard to change her attitude and the way she works at college. She shows an increased level of commitment to her classes, vocational, GCSE maths and English, and she now participates in additional support sessions. Izzy experienced some connection issues during her remote lessons, but she worked hard to overcome these and never gave up trying to get reconnected. In her GCSE English lessons, Isabel made, makes positive contributions to discussions which shows that she is not only listening, but taking key, key teaching points on board and trying to use them in her own work. In her support sessions, Isabel is engaged and enthusiastic. In her English support sessions, she's been working on her comprehension skills and extracting information from a text in order to answer exam style questions, and more recently, developing her creative writing skills. Isabel has persevered to get her story written and has quite surprised herself with the use of describing adjectives and vivid verbs. Isabel has also recently started attending revision sessions for her vocational course and these are helping her to raise her confidence and exam scores. Isabel's commitment to her learning is becoming more and more evident as she's engaging with support readily, even on her days off. Isabel has many issues to deal with outside of college life and she's learning to balance these with her work commitments in order to move forwards. Isabel is supported by lots of different staff in college and she's accepting of this support and uses it to help her reach her true potential. May I take this opportunity to congratulate Isabel on her hard work and wish her every success for coming year. Well done Isabel, you really deserve this Surpassed Expectations Award. Hello and welcome to the Hair and Beauty FE Awards for 2021. 
My name is Catherine Dodd and I am the CRQ Leader for Hair and Beauty at Howe College. First we have the Hairdressing Student of the Year for Redditch. Our winner for this year is Emily Finnegan Adwas. Our Redditch Hairdressing Lecturer Rachel Price has provided a citation for this award. Emily has been nominated as the Hairdressing Student of the Year because of her continued hard work and outstanding dedication to her course. Emily completed a Level 2 hairdressing programme last year but really struggled with her confidence and this had an impact when she came back to work on clients. Returning in September to the Level 3, Emily initially lacked confidence but when realising she had the potential and could learn new skills, she started to enjoy and embrace the course. Her confidence began to grow and she showed when she worked on her peers and the clients. Emily excels in theory and written work. She completes all her solar tasks on time and completes all written work and assignments in a timely manner. And she does this to a good standard. She was one of the first in her group to complete her work placement project, achieving 100 hours work. Emily has been a pleasure to teach and as a student, it's been great watching her develop into a young hairdresser. Congratulations, Emily, on this fantastic achievement. My name is Sarah Cornelius and I'm the coordinator for Hair and Beauty at Howe College. Firstly, we have Hairdressing Student of the Year Award for Worcestershire. Our winner for this award for this year is Lauren Brickles. Our hairdressing lecturers, Kirsty Fry and Maria Granger, have provided a citation for this award. During the current times, Lauren has embraced the new normal and has adapted to online learning very well. Lauren has used the online platform of resources to help develop her skills, which has set her in good form to aid her Level 3 programme. Lauren has worked hard to master a new skill set and has found a passion for working with long hair. As well as this, Lauren has great ambition. From entering the Lee Stafford photo shoot competition and winning to registering to attend other online seminars. Lauren is an exemplary student who is passionate, always meets deadlines and submits a good standard of work. Lauren has grown in confidence and is a good team member. Lauren has continued to develop and blossom throughout level two to level three and we would like to wish her a big well done for all her hard work. Congratulations Lauren on this fantastic achievement. For our next award we have the Beauty Therapy Student of the Year for Redditch. Our winner for this year is Chloe Kingdon. The following words have been provided for Chloe by Helen Adams, Beauty Lecturer. Chloe has been very enthusiastic about her course all the way through to the current date. She maintains an excellent and professional appearance in salons. She works hard in all lessons and willing to answer direct questions and be challenged on her answers. This is recognised by achieving, passing all online exams, all written work handed in on time and with all resubmissions completed. Currently, she is a student with one of the highest pro monitor achievement targets completed out of the two groups this year. Chloe has achieved an excellent attendance on her course, currently being at 99%. Chloe always willing to help her peers in practicals or even group work. She is always thriving to carry out excellent and professional treatments, checking she is on target. Chloe has a career in mind to work towards going to university and in the future to continue her beauty qualifications. Feedback from other tutors is excellent and positive too. Well done Chloe on all the hard work you've done this year. Our next award we have is Beauty Student of the Year. The winner for this year is Nevea Finch. The following citation is provided by the Level 3 lecturer, Tina Ashmore. Nevea is currently a Level 3 beauty therapy student, having successfully completed Level 2. Nevea is a dedicated student who always gives her best and produces high quality of work, which is always submitted on time, if not early. During Nevea's time at college, I've seen her confidence grow greatly. Nevea has demonstrated a good work ethic, dedication and professional behaviours during these difficult times. Whether in the classroom 
or on a Teams call, Nevaeh is also punctual with a beaming smile on her face and a happy and enthusiastic disposition. Nevaeh always brings a smile on her face to staff and students alike. She demonstrates a professional attitude to clients and peers when working in a practical setting and clients warm to her straight away. Nevaeh has had to overcome academic difficulties in order to pass test papers and has been working closely with her PLC to achieve this. Nevaeh has worked extremely hard and the results have been evident in distance travelled as she is now successfully completing her exams. It has been a pleasure to teach her for the past two years. Well done Nevaeh. For our next award we have Hair and Media Student of the Year for Redditch. Our winner this year is Mary Thacker. The following words have been provided for Mary by Gail Tyra, the Hair and Media Lecturer. Mary began the Hair and Media Makeup course and progressed to theatrical makeup. She has always been punctual with 100% attendance and attends every lesson with enthusiasm and passion. She has always been ahead of the deadlines and achieved assessments and exams to an outstanding standard. Work is always done with that little extra which shows a perfectionist and a great motivation and pride. Mary and her family contracted COVID-19, but still Mary attends online lessons and sent in practical and written work every time. Even though she was feeling poorly, Mary is always looking for industrial work to do outside college hours and will always encourage her peers to do the same. She is friendly, polite, who is always assisting others and offers them help and input to inspire them within the classroom and as a friend. Mary has been a student rep for two years and has been outstanding advocate for the Howe College when supporting in open days, external makeup events and with local theatre productions of Cats. It's been a pleasure to teach Mary and to see the work she produces. She will be going on to university and I am positive she will do well within her industry. I would like to take this opportunity to wish Mary all the very best for the future. Congratulations, Mary, on this fantastic achievement. Our next award is for Hair and Media Makeup Student of the Year. Our winner for this year is Neve Saunders. The following citation for Neve is by lecturer Harriet Skelton. Neve Saunders is on the Level 3 Theatrical and Media Makeup course at St Dunstan's on the Worcester campus. Before joining the Level 3 course, Neve was on Level 2 Hair and Media Makeup. On both levels, Neve has fully dedicated herself to the course and the disruption of lockdown has not phased her. Neve's confidence has grown and matured. It's been a delight to see her flourish. Neve has produced some very creative and attractive pieces of work. She takes all of her briefs seriously and sets out to achieve the best results she can. The makeup designs have really shown Neve skills and knowledge in the resources that she is surrounded with. Always a friendly, bright and popular member of the group. Neve is always willing to give new techniques and methods in makeup a try. Neve produced an informative mini film with two of her fellow students on nail art before Christmas showing her confidence, professionalism and willingness in all aspects of the course. Throughout her studies, Neve has always handed work in before the deadline as a, and has maintained an excellent standard of work and timekeeping. This is both for theory and practical work. All of her work is well presented and to a professional standard. Outside of college, Neve works in the industry and she is involved with nail work. These skills, along with her communication skills, are and have been transferable throughout the course. Neve wishes to go on to university where she will remain in this industry. She is a highly achieving student and deserves to do so well. Well done. Along with our subject specific awards, we are thrilled to announce that two students from our department have won open awards this year too. The winner for Fearless Female Award for Worcester this year is Catherine James. Tamsin Bayliss has um, given me the citation to read. So, Catherine really is a definition of a fearless female. She has faced so many adversities in her personal life, yet she forges forward, achieving in her course and being a role model to all who know her. 
The things that have happened to Catherine have been completely beyond her control and she has to dig deep in order to get past them and move forward to achieve her dream. Whenever I speak to Catherine, I am always filled with complete admiration for her. Not only is she trying to keep her own life and dreams going, but she is supporting her two young children, who depend on her for their everything. Catherine is determined to be on the best role model she can for them and not let the past determine their future. Catherine works so hard at college to make her dream a reality and must juggle so much in her home life outside of college. The pandemic has impacted this and like so many other students, Catherine has had to adapt to working at home, pushing aside all those distractions which do not present themselves at college. Despite this, Catherine has continued to do her best for herself and, her re and has researched and paid for extra live tutorials, which she has been able to view online in order to support her theory work. Catherine has reached out to ask for support and willingly participates in extra revision, revision sessions in addition to her normal timetable. Catherine has had an obvious passion for her subject and demonstrates a vast amount of knowledge which she is keen to use in her future career. Catherine's head is full of a plethora of things relating to college and home life and she works incredibly hard at compartmentalising them so she can focus on what she needs and what her family needs. I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate Catherine on everything she has achieved so far and to wish her all the best for the future. The winner for Outstanding Work Ethic Award this year is Lucy Lowe. Tamsin Bayliss has shared a citation with us. Lucy demonstrates an outstanding work ethic daily. She is committed to her studies and shows a dedicated attitude towards her learning. I've been working with Lucy in revision sessions and she is an absolute pleasure to support. She is willing to participate in extra sessions outside of her normal timetable and is flexible and happy to slot in sessions whenever she can. Lucy takes on board all advice, tips and strategies willingly and uses them to help her revise in her own time. She works hard to identify gaps in her knowledge and where she needs the most support. She seeks out ways of helping herself and has found regular support and regularly uses an app which, you, which helps her to make revision cards. Lucy is a polite and hardworking student who wants to do well, succeed and be the best she can. She is willing to put in as much work as is needed and she does so cheerfully and with enthusiasm. Despite the pandemic, Lucy has learned to deal with the trials and tribulations that this has brought effectively, refusing to let them get in the way of her studies or of her achieving her goals. Lucy shares her work ethic with others in the group and she is generous in sharing her knowledge and useful revision strategies. Lucy's hard work and ded dedication shown in her vocational course is really paying dividends for her and she is consistently raising her exam marks and passing more of her exams. She has the determination to keep going. She is always striving for better and her confidence and self-belief in her own abilities is more visible and an absolute pleasure to see. I would like to take this opportunity to wish Lucy all the best for her the remainder of her college year and for whatever the future holds for her. We would like to say a very big well done to all our students for doing so well in such a difficult year. And extra congratulations to all the FE award winners for their hard work, determination and success throughout their time at Howe College. We wish you nothing but the best for your next endeavour. Thank you. Hello and welcome to the Hospitality FE Awards 2021. My name's Neil Tabram and I'm the Head of Hospitality at Worcester and Redditch. First we have our Hospitality Student of the Year Award in Redditch. Our winner of this award is Kieran Hughes. Congratulations Kieran, it's a fantastic achievement. Matt Perry has provided the following words for us. Kieran has now completed two years of study with us. He has proved to be a conscientious student in year one and once again excelled in his studies in year two. Kieran has continued to develop his skills and mastered techniques above what is expected at his level.
Kieran is a real team player. He regularly helps and supports students who struggle and is always keen to make sure that the team is ready for service. He has an excellent attendance and punctuality and willingness to help others makes him a pleasure to teach. Well done, Kieran. We wish you every success in your future career. For our next award, we have the Outstanding Achievement in Hospitality and Catering for Redditch. Our winner this year is Ellie Townsend. Well done, Ellie. The hospitality team have provided the following uh, words for us. Ellie has shown commitment to the course from day one. She's always on time and has achieved 100% attendance in all classes. Her attitude to hard work is first rate. She always gives 100% and managed to do so with a smile on her face. She's a real team player. She will go far. Ellie has a bright personality and the right attitude. These attributes will help her succeed in the hospitality industry. Well done, Ellie. For our next award, we move to Worcester. We start with a Hospitality Student of the Year Award. Our winner for this year is Paige New. Well done, Paige. Andy Minchin has put the following words together. Paige has been an excellent student in her first and in her second year. Her approach to her studies has been outstanding. She has shown her ability to adapt to various situations and always tries to achieve the highest possible standard. We are confident that Paige will succeed in, in the hospitality industry and she has the right attitude and the right motivation to really go places. Well done, Paige. For our next award, we go to the Outstanding Achievement Award in Hospitality and Catering for Worcester. Our winner this year is Abby Clements. Well done, Abby. The following words have been, made, the following words have been provided for Abby by the catering team. Abby is an outstanding student in every lesson. She's enthusiastic, keen to learn and develop the culinary skills she will need to thrive in the hospitality industry. Abby, Abby quietly gets on with the task in hand and always strives to do her best in every lesson. She's a team player, cooperative, always participates to the best of ability. She contributes in, uh, in class discussions and demonstrates an ability to consider issues from a variety of different perspectives. Well done, Abby. It's a pleasure to have you in the class. Good evening, everyone. My name is Neil Gardner. I'm a curriculum lead for Adult Skills and ESOL. Welcome to the FE Awards for 2021. The first award I'm going to announce is for Adult Skills Student of the Year. Well done, Leanne Snade. Leanne is a very entertaining and upbeat student to have in a classroom. She's always encouraging others and striving to achieve her goals and beyond. Leanne has had some challenges along the way, but has remained driven and focused to achieve her full level two English qualification. For maths, because Leanne did both subjects, um, Leanne moved from the evening class to join the Wednesday morning class midway through the year. She showed dedication to complete the work she had missed and Leanne was soon an integral member of the group, regularly contributing to class discussions and peer led assessment. Leanne brought a real energy and spark to the group and was supportive to all peers offering alternative methods and approaches to questions which did help her peers. With a natural aptitude and strong work ethic, Leanne achieved her level two maths qualification. A huge well done to Leanne uh, for her achievements, but also for the way she considered others, became influential member of the group and managed her studies, work and family life. A lot to be proud of Leanne, so well done. Looking to enrol at university next academic year, we wish you the very best and have no doubts regarding your future success. The next award is for Adult Skills Student of the Year for Worcester, and this award goes to Paige Layton. Paige started college with many doubts, her ability to achieve, her dread of maths, and how she would cope with exams and whether she would be able to settle in and become a successful student. She has, a, has used her honesty, perseverance, and gentle personality to inspire others in the class. From a student who would sit quietly in class, feeling overwhelmed at times and facing a normal enormous anxiety posed by looming exams, Paige now willingly offers explanations of mathematical techniques, makes suggestions and asks questions that sometimes others find difficult to ask. This academic year has been difficult for so many people. Paige has been on a roller coaster of work and its challenges and insecurities. She has attended evening classes throughout, even managing online classes. 
at one particular class, even lying down after having broken a back, uh, bone in her lower back. She spends time after work each week practicing math skills and has been known several times recently to, stay, uh, to say that she actually enjoys the subject. Level two maths is Paige's goal as this will enable her to access higher level qualifications and offer improved work opportunities. The confidence that Paige has gained by challenging herself to do the course and decide that she will absolutely keep going until she passes this is an inspiration. She deserves every success. Well done, Paige Layton. The next award is for ESOL Student of the Year, Worcester. This award goes to Kem Shung. Kem Shung joined Howe College in September 2019. He successfully completed his Level 1 ESOL course. This academic year, Kem continued with his ESOL studies and he is due to sit his speaking and listening exam for Level 2. Kem is an extremely hardworking and dedicated student with a great sense of humour who would always put in time and effort to improve not only his language skills but also his help to other ESOL peers within his class. For the first, for the past two years, sorry, he has been running a chat group and sharing learning resources with other ESOL students, as well as encouraging discussions between class members. He has also volunteered to help students remotely when they have had technical issues. In addition, Cam successfully completed Functional Skills Maths Level 1 and his IT Skills Level 1 qualification last year, and he is currently doing Functional Skills Maths Level 2. Cam is the perfect example of a mature student who, having worked as a head chef and a mini cab driver in the past, has had to pursue a new career path to gain new qualifications because of his deteriorating health. He is doing this at Howe College via multiple courses to achieve this. Cam is an inspirational student, providing, uh, proving it is never too late to change your career path. Well done. The final award for this evening is the ESOL Student Award for Redditch. This award goes to Kulsum Latar. Kulsum is remembered with affection by her friends in the ESOL class. She has been nominated as our Student of the Year ESOL Redditch in recognition, not just for her enthusiasm and commitment to learning English, but also the positive impression and example she set to other students. Always an excellent student, uh, Kulsum could invariably be found a good 15 minutes before class started, patiently waiting with a welcome smile for everyone. She completed all homework conscientiously and did extra. She was always very keen to take an active part in class, volunteering answers and being fully involved, contributing to the shared sense of purpose, mutual respect for other cultures and beliefs so vital in the ESOL class. When classes moved online, she embraced the technology and swiftly became a proficient user of Teams. We, all in, we were all impressed and touched by the fact that even after her first stroke, she courageously returned to the lesson and chose to give a moving presentation to the class about how to prevent stroke. We recognised the effort it all took and um, could sense how important it was for her to explain about the condition and the signs to look out for. She was gently spoken but had a delightful sense of humour and a twinkle in her eye. Her classmates remember her kindness and concern towards others in the group and they continue to miss her steady presence. She always took great pride in telling us about her family and how proud she was of them. In her diligence and patient application to her studies, she was clearly a role model, not only to her children, but to her fellow classmates. By her strength of character and her courage, she won our respect and our hearts. Coulson is not forgotten, and we hope that this award will serve a small, as a small tribute to the way uh, to, and the way to pay our respects to her memory. Well done. Hello and welcome to the FE Awards for 2021. My name is Debbie Morris and I've got the privilege of being the CRQ leader for SEN at Worcester. I would really love to give awards to all my learners this year for their determination, their real resilience and adapting to learning online, which is a massive step for our learners, but every single learner has tried and I'm so proud of all of them. And you've all learnt some incredible skills this year to take forward with whatever step you take next. Learning online, working sometimes on your own and just really adapting how you do things. It's been a great, great thing to see in all of you. However, we can't give awards to everybody and we've had to look at learners that we want to put forward for specific awards. And I've got the pleasure of announcing three of them this evening. So the first award is the Work Skills Student of the Year. 
And this citation has been put, put forward by me because I'm the tutor of the course of support into employment. And this award is going to Alex Brown. So Alex has been at the college now for four years and he started on the Horizons course. And initially Alex used to struggle to focus in class and it could actually be quite disruptive and he would affect the learner experience for other learners. But being a member of Support into Employment course, I have seen such a maturity in you, Alex, and the development of some really fantastic work skills. Alex now listens carefully, he takes turns, and really works hard to stay on task. And he stretches himself to ensure he understands what he needs to do, and he always wants to know how he can improve his work. Alex has, ta Alex has taken on board feedback from myself and his peers regarding the volume of his voice and the appropriateness of his comments. And this has really seen the maturity for him to move forward. He is considerate, respectful towards the team and always willing to help others. Alex participated in a team event this year to raise awareness of the poppy appeal because charities have really been affected and to raise money for the British Legion. He worked really hard with his independent research to create a great resource for others to use. And he's really embraced technology, being able to use Teams for learning, which again is a great skill for him to use in the future. Alex has been working at Cancer Research now for over a year and was actually given a service award by them at the award ceremony because they are so impressed with his work ethic. He has now also been put forward for a future award with them as well, which is just a tremendous experience. Lockdown has affected his work experience, but we know that they want Alex to be continuing in his service. Alex, this year you've developed great teamwork, communication and great organisational skills to show that you're a reliable and punctual team player who wants to learn and succeed. Alex, now you have some great transferable skills to apply for a range of jobs and I wish you every success in life beyond the college. Hello, uh, my name is Sally Arblaster. I'm the CEN CRQ leader for um, Redditch and Bromsgrove. Um, we would like to introduce a, um, an award tonight for um, Chris Shaffey, which is Student of the Year for our CEN area. Um, Chris Shaffey started off in Skills for Work 1 and then moving on to Skills for Work 2. He has always been a very good timekeeper and being at college at 8.30 in the morning. He's always well presented and ready to work. Whilst on the internship course, he has followed the dress code and the worn business wear. Um, Chris has done an amazing job. Chris has worked really well at Hanbury Hall and at Atwell Farm, where he's gained some work experience. When he first started the internship course, he was able to work in a pub but unfortunately, he was not allowed to make the cocktails and he was really disappointed with this. However, by using his initiative and while sweeping and cleaning the bar, he was always watching and making sure he knew what other staff were doing. When we found um, Chris another placement, he was very confident and used his initiative and explained to the um, owners that he was able to make cocktails. So therefore, he was given um, a work experience placement when we went to the review at his work placement, they were really pleased with him and gave him an excellent feedback on all areas, including customer service. Chris has used his initiative, worked hard and always turned up for work on time. We are hoping in the near future that Chris will be successful and continue his um, journey in hospitality and get himself a full-time job. Only last week he's gone for another interview, so fingers crossed that we get a good response from that. Well done, Chris. Thank you for working so hard in the Sen area, and we wish you all the best for the future. So my next award is the Inclusive Learning Student of the Year, and this citation has been provided by the tutor, Christine Dale, and it goes to Mitchell Smith. So Mitchell is a very enthusiastic and motivated student. Since joining the college, he has worked hard to overcome a number of barriers. When he first came to the college, he was shy and anxious, preferring to remain in the classroom at lunchtime rather than socialise. This was in part due to his previous education, his, dyslex his dyslexia and the bereavement. Mitchell was supported by four staff outside of the environment to try to enable him to socialise, and that was really successful. He is a very likeable, determined young man 
who wants to succeed in everything he does. He has become very confident over the last two years. He asks for additional work, when he which he always completes to a high standard. He always tries hard to stretch himself and will set himself stretching targets. He is always the first person to offer support to other students and he's really motivational in his approach. Mitchell did lack confidence with his written work, which was in part due to his dyslexia, and he finds it hard to process some of his English and maths. But he is now a very, very confident speaker and he finds that this is the best mode of communication for him. He realises he needs to attempt written work for all his subjects and he's tried so hard this year to try to gain his qualifications. He has a career path and is working hard to gain the academic qualifications he needs to achieve his goal. As part of his career planning, Mitchell stayed in the same group for two years and spent time working on his confidence, which means he's now well prepared for the next steps. Since September, Mitchell's been asking for extra work and attempts every piece of work he is given and more. He attends every lesson online and in the classroom. He has stayed on to support other learners and he is a fantastic role model to other learners. Mitchell was mature enough to ask for one-to-one -one support and he has set himself goals to complete work at home in the evening. He is now writing two books, animating them himself and is planning to compose music to accompany his audio books. During a conversation about the books, Mitchell mentioned he could sing and during the end of year concert he offered to sing. Mitchell's confidence has so improved that he actually stood up in front of all his peers, which is something we never ever thought Mitchell would be able to do. And the feedback from his peers was amazing. Mitchell is a real inspiration to his peers and he deserves to be awarded a prize for the way he conducts himself, the way he's taken control of his own goals and the way he's been able to support his peers. He is well liked by all the staff and students and now is ready to progress to the next stage of his career. And Mitchell, we wish you every success in the future and all the luck in the world. So my final award is for outstanding personal progress. And this citation has been written by her tutor, Jo Levac, and this goes to Tilly Standen. So Tilly came to an open evening three years ago and she wouldn't come in the college. I actually had to go out and meet her and she was absolutely terrified of coming in and coming back into education. So Tilly actually started college two years ago after not getting the grades she needed to do the course she wanted. We offered her a place on SEN so she could improve her confidence and her maths and English grades. Tilly has some health issues that really impacted on her previous achievement and she has worked so hard to overcome them and she's just been absolutely amazing. She was also very shy and lacked confidence. We now realise that Tilly is incredibly bright and works incredibly hard, but she also has some limiting beliefs about her abilities. And I think they are finally diminishing, that she's actually now having some self-belief in just how amazing she is. Throughout her time in college, she works really hard and kept going even when the situation wasn't the best. She came to every online lesson during the lockdown. She's always asked for extra work to do in her spare time and her attendance is amazing. Through hard work and resilience, Tilly has improved her confidence and she now attends a separate GCSE English and Maths class, which for Tilly is a massive step because she's going outside of her comfort zone and being with learners that she doesn't know particularly well. And I'm so proud to say that she'll be starting a level two course next year, which when Tilly started with us, we never ever thought she would be able to do. She can now clearly communicate her needs and that makes it much easier for us to give her the appropriate support. Tilly has shown that with de dedication and determination, she can achieve her goals despite difficulties and obstacles arriving, arising. She is a real inspirational young lady and I wish her every success in the future. Hello and welcome to the Progressions and Futures FE Awards for 2021. My name is Paul Stevens and I'm the curriculum leader for the NEAT area, Howe College. First, we have the Progression Student of the Year for Redditch and Bromsgrove. Our winner for this year is Nathan Huxley. The staff team have provided the following citation. Nathan has been within our NEAT department for almost two years now and his attitude, commitment and engagement to his studies has always been fantastic. Nathan is always the first to offer a helping hand to any students who may be struggling within the group. 
Nathan has also played a pivotal role in all group discussions whilst we have been learning online. Over the course of the past two years, Nathan has been elected as student rep and is the voice for all our learners within the Redditch department. Nathan listens to all students and does a fantastic job at getting these points across in student rep meetings. A pleasure to have taught Nathan this year. Well done. Congratulations, Nathan, on your fantastic achievement. For our next award, we have the Progression Student of the Year for Worcester. Our winner for this, this year is Jared Watts. The following words have been provided for Jared uh, by the staff team in Worcester. Jared has proved to be an exceptional student within the Progressions Department and has shown great passion and commitment towards his Level 1 IT and Digital Media course. Jared has 100% attendance and is always on time and always ready to learn. He has shown great enthusiasm in all aspects of the course and is always willing to help and always ready to ask questions to ensure he can get the most out of each topic. Jared completes all work to a high standard, ensuring that he receives the highest grades in his assignments and completes extension tasks to stretch his learning. He has also shown that he is able to meet assignment deadlines, which will be a valuable skill when he progresses onto a higher level course throughout the college. Jared also completes project work in his own time, proving his strong work ethic towards his education. Jared has stated that he has found remote learning aspect of this year to be challenging. However, this has not affected his attitude or commitment. Jared has used his confidence and knowledge to support other members of the class. On many occasions, he has shared his screen with the group to explain points around work he has completed and supported various learners one-to-one. -one. This skill has shown that Jared would make an excellent teacher and has a solid rapport with the other members of his class. Well done, Jared, and we wish you the best of luck with your course next year. Congratulations on a fantastic achievement. For our next award, we have the Impact Student of the Year. Our winner this year is Harry Bourne. The following words are provided by his course tutor, Matthew Ross. The journey travelled for Harry has been a difficult one. He has had to face many challenges. They have had implications on his academic and personal life, but it has required fortitude and resilience for him to overcome them. Harry started at college um, by being removed from his original course. However, since then, he has gone on from strength to strength. He has completed the short course of Pathways and now he's currently engaged in Impact. He has 99% attendance, but that figure does not reflect the effort put into class and the relationships with his peers. He is polite and courteous. He shares his experience, which are personal and sometimes not easy to share with the class. He frequently offers peer-to-peer -peer learning, whether sharing his screen and demonstrating to the class and non-speaking English providing extra support for translation, further displaying his kindness and compassion. He has brought his own learning materials to aid his development. Although I do not teach Harry maths or English, he has sat extra revision classes and has also been praised for his hard work and development. Harry's next of kin have remarked in the change in attitude and added confidence Harry now displays. I see nothing but success for Harry if he continues to apply the skills he has learnt along with his positive, helpful approach and determination to succeed. Congratulations, Harry. Our final award is for the Future Student of the Year. Our winner this year is Patricia Gilmore. The following citation has been prepared for Patricia by the Futures team. We have chosen Patricia as her contribution and commitment to both courses she undertook with us in this year has been exemplary. She engaged fully with the content and evaluated reflectively upon what has been learned each time and how it would help her to develop her skills going forward. Patricia has a great sense of humour and despite her own challenges, proved herself to be a patient and supportive member of the group who improved the learning experience for all involved. Well done, Patricia, and congratulations on this achievement. Hello and welcome to the Learning Centre's 2021 Endeavour Award for Digital and Independent Learning. My name is Jerry Walsh and I'm a Senior Learning Enhancement Officer based in the Worcester Learning Centres. Our winner of the Endeavour Award for Digital and Independent Learning for Worcester is Jacob Archer. The team worked together to provide this citation for Jacob. Jacob shows real commitment to independent learning. His attitude to his solo work and his general coursework is exemplary. Jacob's attendance and timekeeping for his team sessions is excellent. He is always polite, friendly and respectful towards the Learning Centre staff and his peers. The Learning Centre staff were delighted to nominate Jacob for this award as it's always a pleasure to deal with him. Congratulations Jacob on this fantastic achievement. 
Hello, my name's Amelia and I am the Bromsgrove Learning Resource Assistant. The winner for the Endeavour Award for the Digital and Independent Learning Award for Redditch and Bromsgrove is Andrew Green. The Redditch and Bromsgrove Learning Centre has shared the following words. Bromsgrove Learning Centre staff has chosen to nominate Andrew for this award as he is always extremely polite, friendly and a student who shows great worth ethic and real commitment towards independent learning. Andrew is a respectful learner and would always a pleasure to have in our learning centre. During the lockdown, Andrew came on site Monday to Wednesday to do his work. He always followed college procedures, got on with his work and attended on time every day. Andrew was always conscientious and on site when he was always asked. He always asked for an antibacterial spray so he could clean his workspace before leaving for the day. We have noticed a great level of maturity from Andrew when he was with his classmates in the learning centre. He always sets a good example of positive behaviour and influences his class peers to do the same. Throughout the year, we replace many college ID cards for students who have forgotten or misplaced them. Andrew has not had a single replacement ID card since being issued his first card during the, at the start of the act academic year. This is always a great credit towards Andrew's responsible nature. Andrew continues to support the Learning Centre service by regularly loaning out laptops and using the computers. Hello, I'm Judd Dowsey and these are the awards for Public Services Redditch and Bromsgrove. Okay, the first award is Public Services Student of the Year Redditch and Bromsgrove and it goes to Daniel Betteridge. Dan has made huge inroads into the course since joining the college last year. He will always ask questions when unsure and apply himself in all aspects of the course. He has demonstrated his commitment and determination throughout by achieving distinctions in nearly all of his units. He is well liked by his peers and is seen as a leader of the group. It has been particularly pleasing to see how Dan's confidence and self-esteem has grown over the past 12 months. That has been thanks to his perseverance and self-belief which will serve him well should he decide to continue pursuing a career in the public services. He has a dry sense of humour that will go down well in any career he chooses. The Outstanding Achievement in Public Service Award Redditch and Bromsgrove goes to Jess Parks. Jess has been a studious learner and has developed well over the past 12 months. She always puts in 100% effort into her work and responds very well to feedback. She remains a stalwart of the group and someone that her peers look up to and approach when unsure about their work. She has gained distinctions in almost every unit she's done and thoroughly deserves these grades. Her confidence has grown and her self-esteem has improved thanks to her perseverance and determination, particularly during lockdown. She's well humoured and actively takes part in lessons and is confident to ask questions that others may shy away from. She has a strong presence in the group and will that will serve her well when she joins the RAF. Well done, Jess. The Public Service Student of the Year for Worcester is Brad Barber. From the moment Brad began his Level 2 Public Services course, he has demonstrated a positive attitude in all aspects and has stood out amongst his peers. Brad has maintained outstanding attendance and punctuality in all areas of his study programme, not dropping below 100%. His enthusiasm and motivation has meant that Brad has managed to submit assignments on time and to a good standard, seeking support where needed. Brad has also joined in optional online support sessions and continually shows his education and commitment to the course. Further to this, he also successfully holds the role of student rep for his programme. He has supported his peers in a variety of academic and practical settings and is a role model for all. He shows a high level of integrity and respects all students and staff alike and has been a pleasure to teach this academic year. Well done, Brad. The Outstanding Achievement in Public Service Award for Worcester goes to Shanice Bates. In her time at Howe College, Shanice has shown a very clear passion to her study and academic achievement and proven herself to be a diligent and able learner. 
She has immersed herself in all areas of her course and college life and displayed enthusiasm, humor, confidence, and maturity. Shanice is a caring and compassionate learner who has shown leadership, resilience, and a dedication to excellence. She has displayed a great amount of commitment and motivation, consistently striving to achieve the highest grades possible throughout her time at college and seek extra challenges and independent research to expand her knowledge and develop even further. Shanice's drive and hard work ensured her success in being accepted to all of her university choices. This drive to succeed is also mirrored outside of college where she recently has been accepted into the Army Reserves. Shanice is a hardworking, driven and motivated learner who has been an asset to the course and made a real impact with staff, learners and everyone she's met at Howe College. Well done Shanice. Hello and welcome to the FE Awards for Applied Science 2021. My name is Neil Tabram and I am the leader for Applied Science. First we have the Applied Science Student of the Year Award. Our winner for this year is Carter Haywood. Congratulations Carter on this fantastic achievement. The science team have provided the following words. Carter is outstanding across all areas of the course. He is a very enthusiastic member of the group who works brilliantly in group situations and motivates his, followers, his fellow students. He also works really well independently, producing work of a very high standard. His understanding and knowledge of all aspects of applied science is to be applauded. Carter has a mature attitude towards his studies and we predict an excellent achievement across the course. We have high hopes for him in progressing his studies within science at university. The whole teaching team wish Carter the very best for the future. For our next award, we have the Outstanding Achievement Award in Applied Science. Our winner for this year is Georgia Rundell. Well done, Georgia. The following words have been supplied by your personal tutor. Georgia is a dedicated student who always works incredibly hard. She does extensive background reading to inform her co coursework and always puts the maximum amount of effort into her course. She is punctual, timely in handling in her work, polite and courteous to staff and students alike. Georgia is an exceptional student with the resilience that will enable her to do well in her future endeavours. Well done. Along with our subject specific awards, we are thrilled to announce that a student from our department has won an open award this year too. Our open awards were first created in 2020 to provide an opportunity for more students to be recognised for their great attributes, for the great attributes they possess and in all aspects of their lives. Such awards are not specific to age, subject or level of study, meaning anyone is eligible to be nominated. The Overcoming Adversity Award is specific for the adversity faced throughout 2020 and, to, and 21 with regards to the pandemic. Coronavirus is one of the largest obstacles that any of our students will have faced in their lives. Disruption to studies, home, social life, disruption to working life and exams, potential health issues and difficulties at home, and all of the other elements that come along with such an unprecedented event. The award celebrates the individuals who have faced significant adversity, pushed through and still achieved brilliant things. The winner for this award goes to Amy Whatmore. Amy is a dedicated student who has always worked to the best of ability. This year has been an extremely hard one for Amy due to various personal issues. The circumstances of lockdown have added to this. During this time, in addition to our own education, Amy has also been responsible for looking after and homeschooling her siblings, which in itself is an onerous task. Despite this, she has still managed to attend online lessons and remain focused on her learning throughout. Understandably, her circumstances have meant that she is behind with some of her assignments, but rather than giving up, Amy has worked extremely hard to catch up. She is determined to complete her work to a good standard and achieve her goal for attend of, of attending university to study psychology and criminology. The whole team would like to say well done. We are proud of you 
and how you've persevered under these circumstances. Well done. Hi, I'm Judd Doughty. I'm the curriculum leader for sports at the college. And these are the awards for the sports department, Redditch. The sports students of the year goes to Abby Chambers. Abby has shown throughout her year at college that she has a clear direction that she wants to follow and focus to her goal. This has led to her not being afraid of asking tough questions to lecturers, which keeps us lecturers striving for the best for her. And we advance her knowledge as much as she does herself. She's consistently reaching the highest grades and assignments and Abby helps her peers when they are struggling and if they're not able to engage in lessons. Abby has shown excellent resilience in the past year to adapt to the situation with COVID and has been an asset um, in her goal of becoming a physiotherapist. Well done, Abby. The Outstanding Achievement in Sport Award for Redditch goes to Chris Wilson. Throughout Chris's two years at college, he's never let his disability get in the way of his academic achievement. His eagerness to learn, ask questions and use his own initiative to find new methods to communicate with his peers has led Chris to becoming one of the highest level coaching sessions we've seen for a long time. He's been able to enjoy himself and engage with other students in his lessons also. His pleasant demeanour and respect for those around him are commendable. We have no doubt Chris will go far with whichever direction he chooses at university and he's shown that his excellent leadership skills will be an asset for any employer and serve him well in education if that's the route he follows. Well done, Chris. And these are the awards for sports at the Worcester campus. The Sports Students of the Year for Worcester is Faye Wells. Faye's been an exceptional student throughout her time with us. She consistently achieves the highest grades in all of her assessments and all of her units. And she's currently predicted a triple distinction star profile, which no doubt she will achieve. Faye is very strong ac academically and has shown her desire to grow as a student and as an individual, often engaging in additional research activities and further reading around subject areas. The staff in sport are left in no doubt that Faye will achieve great things in her university career. We are proud to have played a small part in providing her a stepping stone to great things. Well done, Faye. The Outstanding Achievement in Sport Award for Worcester goes to Charlie Duffett. Charlie came to college a reserved and shy young man. However, over his time with us, he has grown and taken great steps both personally and academically. Charlie has worked well as an individual and within teams. He has developed his skill level in both practical settings and with his academic writing. Charlie has shown us in the department the greatest development of one student this year, and we've been pleased and encouraged that Charlie has selected the H&D Sport as his progression route into higher education. Well done, Charlie, for your outstanding achievements in sport, and we look forward to seeing you and working with you for your Level 4 programme next year. Well done, Charlie. Hello, and welcome to the Student Engagement Further Education Awards for 2021. My name is Sal Friel, and I am the Head of Student Support and Wellbeing, and I'm going to be presenting the awards today. First, we have the Student Engagement Endeavour Award for Worcester and Malvern. Our winner for this year is Holly Peoples. Our Student Support Officer, Debbie Bird, has provided us with the following citation. Holly joined us at Heart of Worcestershire College in September 2020, during what has been a very difficult year for all young people. Holly has lived independently from a young age and has faced many challenges in her situations at home she has shown incredible maturity in her approach to employment and college, balancing part-time work alongside her studies. She has continued to produce a high standard of work in her hairdressing course and has successfully, successfully secured an apprenticeship on her own at Bad Apple Hair. She has already started some training alongside completing her course at Howe College and continues to fill her life with positive experiences. It's been a pleasure being part of Holly's journey and everyone at college is incredibly proud of her achievement so far. She's a strong, independent young woman who will achieve great success in the hair industry. Well done, Holly. For our next award, we have the Student Engagement Champion Award for Worcester and Malvern and our winner this year is Jack Collins. The following words have been provided by Chloe Lakin, our Student Experience Officer. Jack is a student rep and right from the training showed real enthusiasm in getting the feedback completed. 
He came and spoke to us numerous times to check if there was any additional things he needs to do to get through the process. He has come across as a very positive individual, is always smiling whenever we see him. Before we were sent out the second round of questions, Jack would always be asking when they would be sent out so he was ready and prepared to ask his group for their feedback. He has been an excellent student rep for his course, despite the circumstances we're all in. Well done Jack for all of your hard work this year. For our next award, we have the Student Endeavour Award for Redditch and Bromsgrove. Our winner this year is Jilly Downs. Our wellbeing and safeguarding officer, Madeline Penny, has nominated Jilly for this award. Jilly is working towards completing a Level 3 Diploma in Health and Social Care this year. In the two years of her study, it's been a pleasure to watch Jilly grow both personally and in terms of her study and plans for the future. Jilly has faced many personal barriers to her learning and studies and has shown great resilience, growth and determination to push through and achieve for herself and her goals for the future. She has persevered and grown in confidence and communication with her tutors in order to keep pushing forward despite the challenges she has faced. Jilly is fully engaged with support and has built positive relationships with staff and her peers and has taken responsibility for her learning, engagement and progression. She's been proactive in managing her workload and seeking support when needed, often pushing herself out of her comfort zone, but to always be moving forward. Julia secured a place at university here in the UK and is also working towards studying in America to become a nurse, a well-chosen career which she will be exceptional in. Well done, Julie. Hello, I'm Harry, the Student Experience Officer across Redditch and Bromsgrove. Our next award is for uh, Student Engagement Champion Award for Redditch and Bromsgrove. This award is for Molly Powell. Molly is a dedicated student that has gone above and beyond during her time at college. Molly has been a student rep for her class every single year that she has attended college uh, and has also taken it upon herself to get involved with the student union this year. Even while facing setback and injuries, Molly has still remained a conscientious and enthusiastic student that is a credit to the college. Congratulations Molly on your award and good luck in your future. We would like to say a very big well done to all the students for doing so well in such a difficult year and an extra congratulations to all our FE award winners for their hard work, determination and success throughout their time at Howe. We wish you nothing but the best for the future and your next endeavour. Hello and welcome to the Support for Success FE Awards for 2021. My name is Lucy Banks and I'm one of the senior personal learning coaches at Howe College. First we have the Support for Success Award for Redditch and Bromsgrove. Our winner for this year is Alex Salzer. Our personal learning coach Tina Elliott has provided a citation for this award. Alex was diagnosed with autism at the age of 11, but despite her learning difficulties, she achieved the required grades at school to study childcare at level three. Alongside her difficulties, she also has hypermobility and has this year been diagnosed with ADHD and Tourette's. On top of Alex's learning difficulties, she is also a young carer for her mom and dad who have physical disabilities and plays an active part in the care of her nan and granddad. When Alex first attended college in 2020, she doubted her ability to achieve on this course and was constantly asking for support and reassurance. Alex, over the weeks of initially joining Howe College, started to build up confidence in her own ability. She handed in work in line with submission dates and attended all of her lessons on time, despite the fact she is up at 5.30am to ensure her parents are prepared for the day. Alex has now become a confident young young adult in college and has adapted well to online lessons. She is demonstrating resilience to the constant changes we are experiencing at this current time and is on track to achieve her target grade of an A star this year. She has already achieved grade five in her English. Alex is enthusiastic and engaged in all lessons and is a key student who is supportive of her peers and a natural leader within her class. She has a positive view to learning and although some days are very difficult, she has learned to talk through her concerns in order to support herself academically and emotionally. Alex's ambition for next year is to complete her final year on level three and to progress onto university to study teaching. 
Congratulations, Alex, on this fantastic achievement. For our next award, we have the Support for Success for Worcester and Malvern. And our winner this year is Dougal Brown. The following words have been provided by his personal learning coach, Alicia Blewett. Dougal began at Heart of Worcestershire College in 2018, achieving a level one and two before starting his level three course. Throughout this time at college, Dougal has grown in independence as a learner and is hardworking. However, Dougal will ask for help if this is needed, and it's always pleasant when he approaches for help. Dougal has beat up some mean, built up some meaningful friendships with peers across his course, and learners from different courses too. Dougal displays a very mature and extremely positive attitude towards his learning and is always willing to give assignments and tasks 100%. Dougal has grown in confidence as his course has progressed and still continues to display an outstanding work ethic when given tasks. He is a friendly individual who will go out of his way to help his friends if they need emotional support and try to cheer them up. Throughout lockdown, he has continued to display the same work ethic as he has across the year in both GCSE Maths and his vocational course. Dougal utilises the Learning Centre to assure he continues to be up to date with his studies and online lessons. He has shown great engagement with these. He has continuously succeeded in his vocational course and his Maths GCSE, all whilst doing a part-time job. Throughout GCSE Maths and his vocational course, he has been determined to pass and will always ensure he completes his work in the set time. He displays resilience in his studies despite obstacles. He is always ready to take on a new challenge, such as the changes in routine due to the COVID situation. And he does exceptionally well at meeting his assignment deadlines despite this. He gets involved with his lessons, he types the answers or verbally responds and consistently shows up on time. He is a bubbly, enthusiastic and keen learner who cares well for others and is driven to achieve his level three qualification. I believe Dougal is the right person for this award as he has achieved so much here at Howe. Well done Dougal for your hard work this year. We would like to say a very big well done to all of our students for doing so well in such a difficult year and congratulations to all of our FE Award winners for all your hard work, determination and success throughout the time at Howe. We wish you nothing but the best for your next endeavour. Hello and welcome to the Travel and Tourism FE Awards for 2021. My name is Kirsty Hopkinson and I'm the Head of Business and Travel at Howe College. First, we have the Travel and Tourism Student of the Year for Redditch and Bromsgrove. Our winner for this year is Kiana Ager. Our Travel and Tourism team have provided a citation for this award. Kiana is a quietly confident and has hidden talents. She's going out of her comfort zone to achieve her dreams and we are right behind her. I look forward to seeing her continued growth and I am excited to see her first book published. Enjoying Bournemouth Uni, it's going to be awesome. Congratulations, Kiana. For our next award, we have the Outstanding Achievement in Travel and Tourism for Redditch and Bromsgrove. Our winner for this year is Amber Jane Parrott. The following words have been provided for Amber by the Travel and Tourism team. Amber has constantly shown on the Level 3 course that she is confident, hardworking and determined to succeed. This year, Amber's assignments have been focused um, interesting and always very accurate, always working to a distinction grade. This shows she works hard and pays attention to detail. Whilst completing a specific conference and events unit, Amber has shown leadership skills in the organisation of the event and she was able to identify any issues very early on. Amber has shown excellent teamwork and was always happy to help others with their duties once completing her own. Amber can work happily individually or as part of a team and her ability to work independently hugely increases her employability potential. Well done Amber, a great year. For our next award we have Travel and Tourism Student of the Year for Worcester and Malvern. This is Sasha Kemp. The following words have been provided for Sasha by the Travel and Tourism team. 
Sasha joined us on the Level 2 course in 2019 as a nervous student who was unaware of her talents and her passion for travel. In the first year of her Level 2 course, Sasha developed a sense of determination to get work done and therefore has progressed on to Level 3. Her commitment has continued and improvement is evident within the work that she completes and has gone from pass to distinction grade. During her time at the college, Sasha has shown that she is a kind and caring student and can be described as altruistic. An example of this is when she completed her welcome meeting pack. She completed the pack in braille and large print for those who needed it, going above and beyond what was expected. Sasha shares best practice as standard and inspires the group to achieve. This can be seen when she interacts with peers and always encourages them to do the best that they can. Sasha has shown a massive commitment to her math studies this year and throughout the year has received excellent comments from the math department. We hope that this pays off in August. As a team, we wish Sasha well for the second year of her course and know that she will continue to work hard and inspire us all. Well done, Sasha. For our next award, we have the Outstanding Achievement in Travel and Tourism for Worcester and Malvern. Our winner for this year is Rhys Gossage. The following words have been provided for Reese by the Travel and Tourism team. Reese has demonstrated continuous improvement for the last three years that he has been with us. It has been a joy to watch him grow in confidence while adding to his skills. We continue to work on employability and we are looking towards a bright future and multitude of job opportunities for Reese. This is just the beginning. Well done. Congratulations, Reese. The travel team and I would like to say a very big well done to all students, especially in the year that we've had. An extra congratulations to our award winners for their hard work, determination and success throughout their time at Howe College. Good luck for the future. Hello and welcome to the FE Awards for 2021. My name is Stuart Laverick. I have the great pleasure of being the Principal and Chief Executive of the Heart of Worcestershire College. Every year we have tons of great students who we celebrate and we give awards to, but we do like to give a Student of the Year Award. And these Students of the Year Award cover um, Redditch and Bromsgrove and one for Worcester and Malvern. So what I'm going to do now is read out the citations of those two students who were successful and have been named overall student of the year. Can I just say, it, this is always a very, very, very difficult thing to do because all the students we're looking at are wonderful. So it is a very challenging thing. But what I'm gonna do is read out because these are the words of the teaching staff who've had the great pleasure to work with these students. So, first and foremost, I am now going through for the Redditch and Bromsgrove student of the year. Alex Salter is the student of the year and the Support for Success team have provided the following citation. Alex was diagnosed with autism at the age of 11, but despite her learning difficulties, she achieved the required grades at school to study childcare at level three last year. Alongside her autism, she also has hypermobility difficulties and has this year been diagnosed with ADHD and Tourette's. On top of Alex, Challenges, she is also a young carer for her mum and dad who have physical disability and plays an active part in the care of her nan and granddad. When Alex first attended college in 2020, she doubted her ability to achieve on this course and was constantly seeking support and needed reassurance. Alex, over the weeks of initially joining Howe College, started to build up confidence in her own ability. She handed in work in line with submission dates and attended all lessons on time, despite the fact she is up at 5.30 a.m. to ensure her parents are prepared for the day and household duties are completed. Alex has now become a confident young adult in college and has adapted well to online lessons. She is demonstrating resilience to the constant changes we are experiencing at this current difficult time and is in track to achieve her own target grade of an A star this year having already achieved a grade five in her English GCSE in November. Alex is enthusiastic and engaged in all lessons and is a key student who is supportive of her peers and a natural leader within her class. She has a positive view to learning 
And although some days are very difficult due to her learning difficulties, physical pain and commitments, she has learned to talk through her concerns in order to support herself academically and emotionally. Alex's ambition for next year is to complete her final year on level three and to progress on to university to study teaching. Well done, Alex, and for all your hard work, determination, and for overall being a brilliant student. For Malvern and Worcester, we would like to present Catherine James with the Student of the Year Award. The Hair and Beauty team has provided the following citation. Catherine is really the definition of a fearless female. She has faced so many adversities in her personal life, yet she forges forward, achieving in her course and being a role model for all who know her. The things Catherine has faced have been completely beyond her control and she has to dig deep in order to get past them and move forward to achieve her dream. Whenever we speak to Catherine, we are always filled with complete admiration for her. Not only is she trying to keep her own life and dreams going, but she is supporting her two young children who depend on her for their everything. Catherine is determined to be the best role model she can be for them. Catherine works so hard at college to make her dream a reality and must juggle so much in her own life outside of college. The pandemic has impacted this and like so many other students, Catherine has had to adapt to working at home, pushing aside all those distractions which do not present themselves at college. Despite this, Catherine has continued to do her best for herself and has researched and paid for extra live tutorials, which she has been able to view online in order to support her theory work. Catherine has reached out to ask for support and willingly participates in extra revision sessions in addition to her normal timetable. Catherine has an obvious passion for the subject and demonstrates a vast amount of knowledge which she is keen to use in her future career. Her head is full of a plethora of things relating to college and home life and she works incredibly hard at compartmentalising them so that she can focus on what she needs and what her family needs. We would like to take this opportunity to congratulate Catherine on everything she has achieved so far and to wish her all the very best for the future. Well done, Catherine, for everything you've achieved. That's amazing. I would like to say a big thank you to all of our students and the staff who taught them. It has been an exceptional year in terms of the challenges of the pandemic, and I've been very proud to witness the commitment and the support students have shown to one another and how staff and students have worked together. It's a credit to all of you. Thank you very much and all the best for your futures. Thank you.